Where's that tablet? Okay, you got it. Okay, cool. Oh, I see you. I just got an alert. Really? Um, so I they send an alert. So for when I go live, they send an alert to all yeah, my... Everybody. Damn, that's cold. I didn't see. You talking about I got to set a scheduled date. I don't need no scheduled date. I'm Eddie Kane motherfucking junior. I don't need no scheduled date. All right. I'm trying to get the link so, so I can see. Wait, wait, wait a second, man. Stop that with that shit. Don't do that. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where's the link at. I want to send these people the link. Okay, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> The God. Yeah, I want to say baby. All right. Okay. God. Yeah, I want to say baby. Okay, hold on a second. Put that in there. And you, I, I should schedule these out a little bit ahead of time so that way I could kind of plan how I'm going to do the woo wop the bam you dig? Yeah. It'll be cool. I got to just throw them in, a certain, in certain groups. Well, I know they tune in. Got to make sure I get all my haters in here. Show can't be a show without the haters. They leave the funniest comments, don't they? <laughs> yeah, they should have started. They leave the funniest comments, man. But you don't want nothing to do. I don't think people. I don't think people realize how entertained I be by that bullshit. Like, I'm really entertained by it. Alan Jackson, you in the building? What's up, my nigga? I'm glad somebody chirped and said, oh, shit. Okay, I got a few people. Oh, damn. I didn't even see this shit. What up, brother? Hey, Caprice Robinson. Caprice Robinson, you be on my line a lot. I'm beginning to think you like me. I think every chick that be on my line like me. You dig? Hey, y'all, wait a second, man. I'm just trying to get my group together. Just get these out to groups. This was a spontaneous last-minute thing. So I'm just, how's my sound? Is my sound good? Caesar Pimp C is my day one. I know, bless truly. Hold up, man. I promise you, I'm finna get into it, man. I promise you. Just one second. Let me just finish um spreading the word through my Facebook. Facebook is my most powerful tool. So make sure all my Facebook uh groups and friends get a dose of it. Once they in here, we can rock and roll. Then y'all could call in. Phone number is 702. That's my phone number. 806 4880. Wait a second. Don't do it just yet, motherfuckers. I know y'all niggas. Just give me two seconds. Let me just finish getting all this shit wrapped up. Everybody doing on this Monday, this money making Monday. Yes, sir. Sound quality, great. Yeah, I'm at the bar. Mr. Feel Good, you at the bar? Have a drink for me, player. Double shot of tequila, man. Coke back. My nigga. Man, see, now he didn't came in here talking about he at the bar. Now I need a drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, y'all make it hard on the player, man. I mean, y'all make sure y'all go on over to two real for tv.com and y'all grab that uh, cross country pimping collection. If you don't have it by now, go get it now. Go get the whole collection. Get my new movie, Guns. And I've been releasing free films, free short movies on YouTube, like Love Story, man. Go check it out. That's about me and my Corvette collection. Anybody love guns? Yes, sir. I know how you like to drink. Yes, sir. And today I'm sober as a nun. So we're going to see how this goes. If it's. If I'm any fun sober, I don't know. I know I'm super loud. I'm much funner when I'm drunk. But we're going to try to work through it. Okay, I got two screens up here. Can you see me over there? I'm not looking at you. 
You're not looking at me. I mean, you're, you're not looking at what the fuck else can you be looking at other than Eddie Kane, goddamn Junior in the flesh? <laughs> fuck is she talking about? She not looking at me. Jordan Sosa, what's up with Pimpin' Snooky? Pimpin' Snooky is uh newsflash. Pimpin' Snooky is currently locked up, brother. He is not out here in Vegas no more. He is currently locked up, federal prison. Um, go to tworealfortv.com for the details of his case. Not really here to talk about Snooky today. Even though I hear, uh, uh, last time I heard from him, he was in good um, spirits. Today's topic is Robert Pimpsey Banks. Um, Pimpsey was one of the most memorable characters on the Cross Country Pimpsey series. Anybody of you that seen my DVDs, he was featured on Cross Country 1 and 2. I'm trying to think, was he on 3? I don't know. I think he might have been on three, two. I don't know. I know he was on one and two. But um, cool dude, man. He caught a case. I uploaded the video on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, I wish y'all go check it. Um, About Robert Pimpsey Bank, about his case. And uh, I'm just here to answer any questions that anybody may have. Discuss it. And I had people calling me and uh, talking about it. And uh. One of the guys that called me was uh, the, a gentleman by the name of Sir Cap. So I'm going to get him back on the horn because he kicked it off first. Turn that volume down, please, because it's going to give me feedback. He is on three. All right, DVD King, he is on three. Okay. One, two, and three. Hey, what's going on with you? What's up, P? Yeah, what up? This is Maroy. What, what's going on? It, it sounds like you got the window down or you got the top off on the car or something, brother. Yeah, yeah, I'm finna get ready to pull over. Right now, I'm getting off the expressway, man. I had jumped in the car real quick because uh, I work at night, so I was getting ready. To, I was putting everything down. But I'm pulling off the expressway. I'm taking about one minute, man. You want to call me back, player? Yeah, yeah, you want me to call you right back? Yeah, call me back. Okay, dude, I'm finna call you right now. DVD King, you put 100 on his books today? My nigga, my nigga. I was live, man. Gonna throw a hundred on my books too, man. Shit, I'm out here on the streets, but I still need that hundred. But that's live. I need more of y'all to go ahead and support. Throw some money on that man's books. Send some mail, man. Even if you ain't got no money, man. Sometimes just lifting a brother's spirits when they down is good, man. Send a man a magazine, a book or something, man. You know, I'm sending out mail damn near every day. Sometimes I forget, brothers, because so many niggas locked up, man. It's like, damn, it's fucked up. Anyway, OG, what's good, my G? What's happening, my G? Oh, my God, is you look so different. Yeah, man, you know, y'all really, you know, listen, man. Let's discuss this. Let's get this out the way, okay? Because I've I seen a couple of haters hating on my beard. All right. I was growing my beard out because I'm bored. I'm getting older. I read somewhere they said beards represent wisdom, like a wizard. You know what I mean? So I wanted to be show my more wisdom. Right now, it don't look good because it's not groomed. You know what I mean? My shit need to be, you know, dyed up. I ain't going to lie. But it needs to be trimmed up, cleaned up. And when it is, it looks good. But I'm still the same drop-dead gorgeous nigga y'all have come to learn. Learn to love. All I got to do is take the beard off. Hold on a second. Hello? Hey, what's up, P? Okay, P. Hey, wait a second. Hey, uh, we we live now on YouTube. Hey, can y'all hear my man on the phone right now? Say something, P. Hey, it's Sir Cap, man, from Atlanta, man. Sir Cap, get up, man. Man, somebody chime in and tell me if y'all can hear that fine. Alan Jackson, don't they? can y'all hear the sound, man? Can you hear it's me Sir right Cap. now? It's Sir Cap, the pill, man, out of Atlanta, Georgia, man. Sir Cap. Yeah. Can I hear yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. Okay, so okay, sir Cap, go ahead, man. First off, introduce introduce yourself. Tell them where you're from, man. Hey, man, yeah, man, it's Sir Cap, man. You know what I'm saying? Some ism of the game. I really know go by all the rules, man. I consider myself a righteous pimp, man. Don't break no rules in the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here really smashing on the O's, man. I don't do nothing on the side, man. And uh, you know, uh, a lot of pimps give me calls. When they see shit going on the game, 
and uh, you know, they want to know what I got, uh, what I got to say about it, and what I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, uh, I want to, I want to uh, go off of the thing about uh, Pimp C, my boy Pimp C, yeah, real Pimp man. But uh, they got caught up, man, out there in, in California somewhere, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, he said he on the Rico Act thing, man. Well, uh, let me explain you. The RICO Act only consists of, of people that get caught with children. That don't consist of me <laughs> or the other real pimps who have never carried a child. Y'all never have to worry about a RICO Act. You can send much money over the wire. That shit ain't gonna have nothing to do with your case. I'm a pimp. I done been arrested in Virginia for pimping. It was a misdemeanor. Kentucky for pimping, it was a misdemeanor. Atlanta for pimping, it was a misdemeanor. I did three days time served in all them motherfucking spots. Ain't nobody said nothing about crossing those state lines and, and that's a RICO act and all that. And so what I got to say is, man, when these niggas get caught with these kids, we can't be out here talking about freeing them and helping them on their cases. We got to motherfucking let them know, man, hey, when you get out and you get caught in a situation like that, Hey, man, go do your time. Don't call nobody asking for no insights and send you some money. And, hey, man, I think uh, 16 years ago. I well, well, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second, Sir Cap. Sir Cap, in, in, in his defense, I got to say, the brother said that the girl was in his car, but she was with his partner, Lil' Plato, the guy that he's on the case with. So, okay, well, what, I, what I got to say about that is, if he knew he got a partner who just started pimping, and you couldn't give him no insight on look, this eighteen, this this little young girl in the car, you can't start out with a young girl. It was his fault because he led the young boy into motherfucking taking his hoe down there. And he the he the mastermind. So you supposed to gave young pimping some motherfucking insight on saying, hey man, this ain't right. So what we gonna get charged for this? Mainly. Because she's 16 and she's in a car with an adult who know that she's going for prostitution. Young boy don't know nothing. Can he young feel some insight on the game? Of course he know. Uh, he could have killed an 18 year old bitch, but he need to be in a car by himself with that young bitch. And they get caught up by themselves. Because of me, if I take a nigga to, to somewhere to work a track, knowing in my mind I want to knock that hole from him. Oh, that's probably what was on his mind. Oh, I'm going to get this hoe when I get there. That's the whole reason I'm going to take him there so I can be shooting my game out while I'm taking him. But, uh, but, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, man, I think his whole intentions was to try to knock that bitch. That's why he introduced the take. The motherfucking bitch, two fingers with him. So, yeah, I think that, hey, it's only right that they bring that 16 year old case back up on his ass. He had no business put a, a 16 year old prostitute in his car. Because if a bitch get in, in the car with me, she must have an ID. I don't care if she's 33 and she look like whatever she look like. The ID is the matter, man. I've been pimping for a long time. I ain't never put a hotel, never put a car, none of that shit in my name, man. So it can come back towards me. On what special if I'm carrying a bitch? Cause to let y'all know, if you get caught for pimping, your car will be seized if it's in your name and you as a pimp. That's absolutely that's absolutely true. Another thing I want to say, man, because somebody just left a comment. They said they in VA and they say in VA pimping is not a misdemeanor. But one thing I want one thing I want to correct you on, you said cross the state lines, you ain't never heard of that. It is a fact. If you cross state lines with a woman, I don't care if she's an underage or an adult. If you cross state lines, that's the Federal Man Act. That that that, that that's federal law right there. Hey man, I, I, I wish y'all can Google my name in all these states I got caught with. I'm not, I'm not getting caught with one bitch. I got four or five pimps that I don't even know
And okay, Rico is a Commonwealth state. They make their laws as they go. He said, I asked my lawyer, which my family paid for my lawyer out of my money, which they gave my lawyer three thousand dollars. My choice got dropped the same day. And he said, What are you facing? He said, Adams, if you get convicted of these charges, you face one year on each offense of of pandering, receiving earnings from prostitution. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait, wait. wait. Wait a second, Pete. So the charge, I don't want to get too much off of uh, Pimp C charge and only yours, but I'm glad we're using yours in as an example. But the charges you got, did the chicks turn on you? No, no, just one chick turned on me. The chick that was in the room, okay. the one that called me to come back up there and say the other bitch was locked up, the police had her in the car when I got there. Matter of fact, she supposed to have been put up for safekeeping until my case was over with. So the bitch who was locked up, who got called in to come out the CVS, and she was locked up because she didn't, she didn't give up no information. Who she hey, was listen, to listen, to okay. Listen, sir. Oh, hold on, hold on, oh, hold on, cat, hold on, sir, cat. Wait a second. For everybody that's in this group, man, because I see y'all asking a lot of questions, and some of y'all got a little more knowledge than the others. Can y'all read? Can y'all see each other comments like I can? Because I see everybody comments, and I'm wondering. Because I see Caramel Candy asked the question and Mr. Feelgood. Okay, Mr. Feelgood answered it. Okay, I was just making sure y'all seen that. So, you know, we in here and we can exchange some knowledge and information. And when a brother like this is talking, I don't want none of y'all to be feeling left out. I want y'all to know what's going on as well. But so, okay, man. So basically, Sir Cap, what you saying? With the Pimpsey situation, you think that what he's saying, he's just doing a, sky, a, a scare tactic? What you think he's not serious about the RICO Act? What are you saying? I think if he had a kid, he deserved everything got to do with taking him, uh, taking him down. Because if he gonna take a kid, and you know that was he leaving out some stuff in his interview. Like he ain't even admit to like me. If I get caught with a kid, I'm gonna say, hey man, I, hey man, she was a child. Man, I didn't do my background search. They got me, man. I'm gone, y'all. I'm not gonna call nobody to send me money. Y'all got for me. Y'all, y'all hit up to free me. He leaving out some valuable information, and, and and I just feel like he ain't saying. He just saying to trying to free himself. Really, really need to let him know that. Hey, for all y'all guys out there that's killing children, this is what all the fans can go back and do to you. This is everything that can happen to you if you got a child in the midst of your game. That's what he need to be dwelling on. He don't need to dwell on that because he never stated the fact that he didn't carry a child, which I'm glad he didn't. But at the same time, if you know that, that you did and you know that you're guilty, then hey, man, let the real pimps know this is what happens to you when you carry a child. If they ain't giving you the real, man, look. They're not giving you a RICO act just because you a pimp, man. Yeah, I tell the I tell the judge when I caught my human trafficking charge in Atlanta, 2010, my lawyer stood up and said, he is a pimp, but look at the movie on, uh, it's hard out here for a pimp. Everybody liking that movie. It ain't the pimp. So I beat my human trafficking charge. No, you know, you know, you know, you know what, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Sir Cap, you know the shit that kills me, right? And this is the part that I hated trying to explain to haters. When they try to make it seem like a nigga locked up because of my movies, it's like, my nigga, my movie don't have nothing to do with you being locked up over a kid. It, it just ain't got no, it, it's, it's it's not a connection. I, I, I really don't, man. It'd be some exposure where these dudes want to hold the truth back from themselves. So if you get caught with a kid, expose yourself. Because we can't promote you out because the feds or whoever he called in that getting the recall are going to be like, so even though he needs real pimps, they still want to want to vouch for this dude. They done got caught with a kid to not free him. Well, fuck him then. But we going to make more laws. So we got to be against them, man. We damn near got to be working with the fucking DA. Like, yeah, yeah, take that nigga down if he going to take a kid down with him. Hell yeah, fuck him. We not going to let him part of the group. He not, he, he not in the community. Yeah, you, you, you did it wrong, go do your time. 30 years, so what? That's what Sir Cap gonna do. I done did, I done did my, as a matter of fact, for the county, they gave me 12 months and made me do it day for day. They said, you're under that man's five pimp charges. She said, well, just let me do it day for day then. Because uh, the pimp, uh, pimp, pimp, pimp ain't a bad thing. It's just when you got an underage kid. That's what I don't like. And that's all these people care about. When they say underage, that's when your ass gonna worry about a RICO act and, 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 and everything else. So I ain't worried about no RICO act. They can give me a pimp choice. I stand in front of the judge and raise my hand. Y'all, I am a pimp. And whatever they carry, 
Let me hear this. But I ain't carrying no children with me, Your Honor. Well, hey, I, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, man. Shouts out to shouts out to Ch Checkmate the Pimp just checking in. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Well, look, man, I'm glad you called it in, man. And I'm glad you gave me your example on your show. I'm glad to hear from somebody that really been on both sides, you know, actually been charged with this shit and, and know how that shit really go. Because a lot of times niggas be thinking you're going to get 50 years for a pimp charge when a pandering charge really don't carry much time. If you if you if you a grown man with a grown woman, they they don't really give a damn about that shit. Uh, man, look, man, Tennessee, Tennessee has right now got a misdemeanor charge that's carrying a sex register, promoting prostitution. You know why they do that? Because they let the girls go, they write the girls' ticket, and when they catch the pimp, they give him a misdemeanor charge. When he plead guilty, he got to register out a sex to the rest of his life. Damn. You know, and they pass that law. Hold on, where is that at? Tennessee? That's in the whole state of Tennessee. And, and, and it, it, they passed the law June the 12th, 2012. I got caught in Tennessee, Chattanooga. I got locked up in Chattanooga. And I got locked up in Nashville, Tennessee. And I got locked up in 2011, December the 5th. So the law didn't apply to me because I played out in January for my charge through, through General Sessions Court. So my law, it didn't, I didn't make the law. So a misdemeanor charge and you still got to register as a sex offender. Yes, uh, promoting prostitution in, in the whole state of Tennessee. They're not even going to hit you in that hard. And I mean, you know, like I say, man, you just got to look at the laws on everywhere you go. Like, it changes. Like, the law is fucked up for the, for the people that's carrying children, man. Y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? Don't call and tell my child I need help. Or, man, I, they, they, they doing me wrong. Man, get the max. Go do your time. And, hey man, I hope you learn from it, man. Cause I'm gonna keep pimping. I'm gonna keep going to different states. I'm gonna keep getting my money from over the wire from bitches. And, and hey man, I ain't no, I, I ain't never going for no rico act cause of that shit. Cause I ain't getting my money from a child. And if you got, if you don't got caught with a child, they gonna label all the money that you got through the wire has been and been coming from some type of child. It's like your whole pimping been child now. You know what I'm saying? That's how they look at it, man. So. Hey man, y'all keep on doing pimping. Y'all good pimps, man. That's really out here doing this thing. All you need to do, man, is keep them hoes with their real IDs, man. Now don't get no fake ID. Cause your ass get caught. You go down for a misdemeanor, you can call me. I'll buy you out cash boy. You say, Pimp, I got a misdemeanor pimping charge. Right, I'm coming to pay that shit. But don't call me when you talking about, oh man, they tell me I got caught with an age. Hey man, you need to go in there and do your time. Don't call nobody for you. You only need to make a, a commissary in there. You didn't have to do your fucking time you for, for carrying that children. And us pimps got to stand up for that too, man. We can't be helping these niggas out with these kids, man. Putting them on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? I had these girls. She was like, Sir Cap, I know you did your back search on me and found that I was underage. And you had, and you put me out. And the bitch turned 25. She said, Sir Cap, man, I appreciate you for not letting me do that when I was younger because I ran away. She said, man, you a real pimp, man, because you did not let me do that when I was younger. You made me get out because I back searched that bitch. And I said, I need to know the real. And when I really found out how old she was, I let that bitch out my car. And I seen her again when I was 25, when she was 25. And that bitch came to me crying to I love you, man, because you didn't make me do that when I was a child. So y'all need to do your searches, man, because when these bitches get older and y'all pimped them when they was young, the bitches might come back on your ass like, yeah, nigga, I remember that nigga did me when I was young, man. That nigga was dumb, man. I was a dumb bitch, but he still could have not just let me work. You know what I'm saying? So how yeah. much how y'all do these bitches, man. They're going to get older and wiser, man. You know what I'm saying? And I got a good track record out here. I, I've been out for 72 hours. I'm already four deep, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might hear bitches booking calls in the background because I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, getting ready for the Ubers and shit. But, man, y'all got to be a righteous pimp, man. You got to stand up, man, for this shit. And, and they, if they doing it wrong out here, y'all need to take these niggas down, man. I don't care if they the biggest pimp, they'll do it. Dog, one, whoever. They get caught with a baby, 
hey man, go and do y'all time, man. Stand up for that shit. So we won't have to be in the mix of that shit, man. And they keep changing these laws on us, man. This shit supposed to be a misdemeanor crime, man. Like <laughs> both, that, that's the real true game of pimping. A misdemeanor crime, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, the next thing, and she gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, man. Man, I just want to set the record straight on pimps, man, because I got a lot of calls in about them, man. You got to stop receiving that money, man. You getting a RICO at. Man, y'all niggas that carry kids going to get that RICO at, boy. Y'all got to stop fucking with them kids out there, man. And if y'all do run into a kid, turn it into the fucking police. See, the police might call and box for you one day when you catch a pimp toy. Hey, man, the man that has got kids to turn me in, y'all, I think you need to let him go. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about being police, man. Y'all run into the kids a lot. Take that bitch to Twitter, the police. Hey, man, this underage bitch right here. Hey, man, could you come get her? Man, take that bitch somewhere. You ain't got to put her out the car, man. Take that bitch to the cops. Fuck that hoe. She ain't doing it, but gonna make the next person bad. You know what I'm hey, and the cold thing about hey, the cold thing about it is, man, she gonna get a nigga fifty years, then she gonna be back on the streets, back at it. Right. And you, and you might turn into the police, and he might be the nigga that stand up for you in trial when they say this man ain't a bad person. He brought me two other age, other age girls out here that we was looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have police just ask me, hey man, have you ever seen this other age girl like that? You know, even though I if the bitch ain't with me then, I'm gonna say no. Cause I know I ain't gonna carry no underage bitch. But if I have to run into one, I got a motherfucking police that'll take them bitches, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, hey man, I ain't, it ain't about being a police, it's about being true to the game. Cause me, I can meet a pimp from Mexico. And me and him got them can be together like we brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, Pippin. All right, Pimpin, let me take these uh other uh, questions and calls in, man. But uh, I'm going to chop it up with you later, sir, Cap. Hey, man, too big a team, man. I'm going to stay on, on here looking for things, man, to, to promote. And I'm going to show you I'm going to stay on the thing, man, that, that, that's going to make the game right, man. And y'all tell them, stay up, man. Okay, Mr. Moran, man. Hey, man, be cool and careful, bro. Be cool and careful, man. Yeah. He had a lot to say. Uh and he don't give no shits about none of that Rico no shit. Not yeah, he's no he like nigga, I'm finna get my money, nigga. Fuck what you talking about, nigga. So hey, but once again, you can't stop so when somebody feel that way, that's how they feel. They do what they do. I mean Hey, where's the one player in here? I just seen a bless truly. Bless truly. I see you was um, vouching for old PMC, man. Call in, man. Let me chop it up with you, man. Uh, Caprice, you can call in. Whoever. Y'all got the number? 702-806-4880. We doing the old school janky way. Y'all niggas got to call in. I got to put it on my phone. Some niggas be having the shit going through the computer. We ain't that advanced over here at 2 TV. I can't even get my beard shaved up today. You dig? That's fucked up, though. He ain't having no mercy for the homie. I know. That nigga like, nigga, you get caught with a shorty, that's on you, player. Oh, shit, we got a call coming in from the shy. Hello? Hello? You got to turn your volume down in the background. I can barely hear you. It's conflicting with the phone. You, yeah, you got to turn the computer down what you're watching. Oh, hey, what's going on, beautiful? Hello? Okay, what's going on? I'm just saying, you know, like, people be getting this misconstrued. Like, Chelsea, he was on fire way before your beauty. Like, so my thing is, the federal government does an investigation. You know, it's just by history. Isn't it how it works? If you've been on a DVD or a TV screen or a play, whatever you've done in your life, they try to find out. That's what you take to do. They studied this man and watched what he did, whether it was through your DVDs, whatnot, whatever they did that they did, they It's not your fault because you got on your DVD, something they told you to do, and brag about his lifestyle. So, see, those people think that's your fault. This is what you can think to do. If I wanted to say, look, I want you to 
to to to to come and record my child's birthday club. And then five years later, I get invited on something I was going to different, but they use that as to me as to why they think this is uh, a, 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 Absolutely. My business card says filmmaker. I'm not just a pimp filmmaker. I've made films on hip hop, on skateboarding, on cars. I mean, if somebody called me and paid me, what am I supposed to do? Say, no, I don't want the money. You know what I mean? So I don't know. So, so when, when I hear people try to blame stuff on me, these are ignorant people that I know just hate and they hate me no matter what. So it ain't nothing I can say or do to change the way they feel. And I don't even waste no energy on it. They say they say they could barely they say they could barely hear you. You sound muffled, man. You got to step your game up. Pay extra for the clear and free and clear plan or some shit. You got that old school ass flip phone and shit. Can can y'all hear it now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You good? Go ahead. Wait a second, wait, wait a second, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I see you got a 312 number. Now, you say he was extremely hot. Let me ask you, do you know him per se yourself? Do you know him? Okay, so you don't know him. So we, we can't say if we know if he was hot or not. All we can say is... Well, no, they got it. They got him. They got him. They got him with an underage chick from 2000. Yeah. Man, come on. You know, I know shit. If they if they investigated me shit for a year, I'm sure I got I did some stupid shit. But yeah. No, no, I absolutely agree with you. And like I say, man, you know, but regardless of how long they investigate a person, like no matter how long they investigate a person, if they don't find a fucking underage girl, then, you know, they don't have no, I mean, that's it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know what else to say about it. If you got an underage broad in your case, you, you did in the water. Rulership mentality. Let me explain. Wait, 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 wait a second, Caprice. Uh, I just want to answer a question my brother just said. He said from 2000. Yeah, I know. Listen, you have to go back on my YouTube channel and look at the video where I put up the phone call with me and Pimpsey. The reason it was from 2000 is because the same thing I said. I said 2000. Don't that go past the statute of limitations, which is usually seven, seven years for every crime other than murder. Murder has no statute of limitations. The reason this passed the statute of limitations because they hit him with a RICO Act. A RICO is a, cr a continuing criminal enterprise. So that means if they put you and another dude in a, in a RICO Act together and he just did some shit last year, that means it's a continuing enterprise. So that means even the shit you did back in 2000 is going to be connected with the shit that just happened in 2013, 15, 16, whatever. And that's what he got charged with. Okay, go ahead, Caprice. I just hope that they don't give him a lot of time. I hope that what he's saying is true about the 11 years is the best that they can do. We know the government, we don't say them how they play, how they work. I think he's going to be the last man that's going to be sent to the highest. And that's what I think. That's just my opinion, though. You know, um, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it or say anything bad about it because I hope the brother do get up and get up out of there. He's talking about guidelines. I've never been in in in, in a federal court, so I don't know how the guidelines work. But if he's saying those are the guidelines and his lawyers telling him this, that, and the other, you know, I don't know. But from what I do know, 
what I what I what I do know. Listen, what what I do, Caprice. What I do know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, when you take those people to trial, usually they got a chip on their shoulder, and they try to set an example. So that's all I'm saying. What I do know is the fact he went to trial and been found guilty. I don't, I don't get why why you would go to trial for a charge that you saying that you admitting to doing. They saying we charging you with providing transportation for a minor prostitute, and you saying yes. I had a minor prostitute in my card. I mean, I don't know, man. Well, I definitely, definitely, I definitely think so. You know what I mean? But, um, uh, Hopefully it works out for him, man. I mean, you know, Pimpsy ain't no stupid guy, so you know, hopefully it works out, man. Yeah, man, it's it's real fucked up. It's real. And then you know the the thing about hey, the thing about the the thing about these hating ass niggas is they will they they hate me so much they will blame anything on me. If a nigga dies, it's my fault. If a nigga go to jail, it's my fault. Nigga get in a car accident, it's my fault. Whatever happened, he's gonna blame it on Maroy. Like, come on, my nigga. You, it's like it's like you you lose your validity and credibility because now niggas see, oh, it's just a hate campaign. You're not even making no sense. How can everything be Maroy fucking fault? Everything. You better make some money off this shit, Maroy. That's all I can say. Cause when they stop talking about shit, you're not making money no more. Hey man, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. Hey man, I appreciate you calling. I always see, always see you leave comments on the YouTube channel. So I appreciate that, baby girl. Oh yeah, you don't get this shit going on. We don't see on the twenty eighth. If you come back on, I think it's happening. Then we'll talk about that. Yeah, I think I might be down there, man. I got a couple things going on on the twenty in between the twenty eighth and the first. But I might be in San Diego because I I have to shoot up to Chicago, and then I got some other things going on. So I don't know, man. It's it's just tight schedule, but. I'm going to find out what's going on for sure, though. He's going to need your support. He's going to need because you see him trying to he, he, he act the brain, but I know he got to be scared to death because I would be scared shit. Who the fuck Who the fuck wouldn't be scared, man? But, you know, you got to keep the chin up, man. You know what I mean? Take it like a soldier. But, yeah, who wouldn't be scared? Shit, I'd be scared. I'm scared, and I'm sitting at the crib. So I'll go in on the 28th and see what happens. All right. Okay. Be cool, Kelf. Yeah. Okay. Let me catch back up, bro. My mo my boy, mo money, just got. You know what? Let me be quiet. We are on the internet, Mister Feel Good. You seem like you got a whole motherfucking uh, a lot of game and knowledge you can share, man. Come on here, share with us, man. Seven zero two eight zero six four eight eight zero. More little story you can't miss. Pimp Shad Money. You hit it right on the head. They do not lock niggas up for pimping. They lock them up for miss pimping. You are absolutely right, brother. Absolutely right. The system is a beast. Yeah, it is, man. Go back and check that other YouTube um video I did, man. I did two of them. But the one with the phone call with Pimp C was the most uh enlightening because he gave me a lot of information I didn't know. And he's calling from federal prison. This is a difference when a person's talking about some shit they don't know it. And about these haters out there talking about they seen the paperwork and they did this. Man, stop lying. You niggas is always lying. Like, niggas be just lie to lie to lie to lie. Lying ass niggas, mm -hmm. man. Kills me, man. Shit. Keep him in prayer. He is a very positive person. Yes, he is, man. Yes, he is. For sure, DVD. DVD King. Hey man, I'm here just to answer any questions y'all brothers might have. Um, the video when I uploaded the video, I was kind of shocked at the um. Well, I really wasn't shocked. I was just um. It was actually warming to see how many people reached out to watch the film and meet and, and, and make and make so many comments on that video. 
it got like 20,000 views or some shit like that in a day, day or two, which is really, really remarkable. Um, I do good numbers, but that was really, that was a lot. And it comes from a lot of people just being inquiring on what happened. And when you're a lovable character like Pimp C was, people really want to know what's going on with him. They're going to hang it up, not him. I don't understand. Bless truly. Hey, man, I'm trying to read y'all comments, but some of y'all, when y'all typing, I really can't understand it. I guess y'all just typing real quick. I know how it is when you're typing with the thumbs and shit. But, um, if y'all want to call in, man, you know, I'm more than willing to listen to what you got to say. It's a free open line. Y'all could call y'all favorite haters. Tell them to call in and we can chop it up as well. But yeah, the, uh, the video's up on the YouTube channel. Hey, and if anybody's in there does not uh subscribe to the channel, man, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Caramel candy. Why is that? Why is what? See, man, y'all not answering asking full questions. You say, why is that? Why is what? I don't know. What are, what are you saying? Call in 702-806-4880. Yeah, they the ones that always be dry snitching. That's the whole campaign. Who? I don't. Yeah, they the ones that always be dry snitching. That's the whole campaign. I don't I don't understand. You know this is right. This me player, Mr. Nasty. Oh, Mr. Nasty, what's going on, player? Oh man, I ain't know you you by your YouTube handle. Okay, what's up with it, Pimp? You feeling boss player? I know you got some stories to tell. Haven't seen that brother in a minute, man. Heard he doing good though. Heard he doing good. Rulership mentality. Heard he doing good. He did. Who was that told me they was at the bar? Should have had him deliver me a drink. You dig? Hey, man, the moral of the story is, man, don't get caught with them kids, man. You know, that's the that's the nail in the coffin. I'm looking through cases every day. A lot of times, man, log on to 2 real for tvcom for a daily dose of news you could use. Man, I got bloggers, and we report stories every day. And the reason why I'm doing it, not to glorify crime or to demonize my people, but I do it because I don't want to see none of y'all brothers get locked up, falling for some of them um pitfalls they got out there but a lot of stories sometimes i don't even report them because it'd be crackheads and dope fiends you know they they doing prostitution stings they didn't arrested a bunch of truck drivers and shit it's like man come on man leave them people alone but anyway a lot of those cases be bullshit but out of all of the cases i've seen anytime i see a guy getting a lot of time is because he had underage kids. Fact. Anytime I've seen anybody get a lot of, they had a dude in Arizona, man. This nigga got 330 years. That's been the record. I've never seen nobody get more than that. Well, it's a dude in Vegas. He didn't have an underage kid, but as we find it out now, he was set up by a crooked cop named Chris Bogman, and he got three life sentences. Uh, RC, Raymond Sharp. Go look up that video on my YouTube channel. Raymond Sharp got three life sentences, and then the whole sued him and got more $4.1 million in court. So he had to get the money back. But that was because of some crooked shit in Vegas and things like that. Vegas is a different place. Ocean Fleming, he also got life in prison. He didn't have an underage bro. But, you know, that was because of his criminal record, things like that. But once again, Detective Chris Bogman set him up to. So both of them boys might be getting their time back and coming back home. But what I'm saying is nationally, all over the country, most of the times when I see a guy getting a bunch of years, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 100 years, the lives, 
is because they messing with kids. Period. I have yet, I have not seen a guy catch a regular pandering charge with a grown woman and do a gang of time. I haven't. Unless they hit you with a kidnapping and you on some gorilla shit. If you're a gorilla, well, you fucking with underage kids. So, my advice to you, keep your hands to yourself and don't fuck with them underage kids. Don't fuck with them minors. Simple as that, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Other than that, go get you a job at uh, Walmart bagging groceries. You know, you can holler at all the chicks you want. You can be free. You know, you might get you a chick, got a nice little EBT card. You know what I'm saying? She fill up your, your refrigerator. You dig what I'm talking about? You can eat good. You know what I mean? But you free. You know, hang out in the magazine aisle, mac on chicks. You know, that's what I do. You know, because I'm harmless. I don't want no trouble. Sorry. Y'all see, I'm growing a beard. I'm trying to be an old man. I want to be an old man. Ain't nothing cooler than being a motherfucking old man. Carmel Candy, they be hating on me. What? They be hating on me. You ain't heard about them hating on well, let's, whoever Carmel Candy is, let's keep her. Let's keep her on our team, y'all. For the opposite team, get a hold of it. Fill her brains up with bullshit. Alex Jackson, you rolling with it? Yeah, they're going to give a nigga football number fucking with them kids. I don't blame them, man, because I'm going to keep it 100, man. If I had a daughter and she was 14 years old and she would one of you slick-ass niggas, I'd be upset, too. I would. I would. Now, if she a grown woman, hey, man, she do what the fuck she want to do. That's all. Do you think niggas really pimp minors because they don't give a fuck? Or do you think they setting peas up to grow the prison population? Boom, the master question. I have been saying this for quite some time now. I am a firm believer. And I'm going to tell you this, man. I've never said this publicly. But I am a firm believer. Matter of fact, I'm, I ain't going to say I'm a firm believer. I know for a fact that the federal authorities or the police or whoever the fuck is in charge is setting guys up. It's, it's, it's extremely ironic that every time one of these guys get caught up, they get caught up with one of these underage bras. But let me tell you what happened. I had this young lady contact me on Facebook, right? Sweat me. Now, now granted, man, as arrogant as I want to be, I feel like I'm a gorgeous dude. If you sweat me, yeah, I understand why you sweat me. If I was a chick, I would sweat me. I get it. But it was this chick sweating the shit out of me, right? I'm like, how old are you? She told me she was uh, 18 or 19. This was years ago, but didn't have no ID. You know what I mean? Because not that I was on no ism. I was like, yo, let's go to the club. Let's go to the bar and have a drink. That's what I wanted to do. You know, y'all know me. I'm a drinker. If I can't drink with you, I can't think with you. I don't even want to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So I'm like, yo, let's go to the bar and have a drink. She like singing all that. Yo, what the fuck, fuck I'm going to do with you? You can't even go have a drink. But anyway, this chick was sweating me, sweating me, sweating me, sweating me, sweating me. So finally, after I get through, be like, yo, man, leave me the fuck alone. Get off my line. Woo, woo. The chick magically disappeared. I'm talking about, when I say disappeared, man, I'm talking about disappeared like a fucking phantom ghost. Like like she never even existed. Page gone, everything. I say, man, they tried to do your boy. Now, check this out. I got a little pot in him. I ain't going to front him off in front of Smitty off in his name because he's still fighting his case right now. They got him on Facebook. He was, I, I did a video on this. It's called How to Catch a, a, a Felony on Facebook, a fictitious, pro, pro, uh, pipping on a fictitious prostitute on Facebook. Go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 2 TV. Look it up. You'll see the video. I did a whole video on this. Well, my man caught a case where a chick was acting like a prostitute. She told him he was, she was 17, right? She told my man, I'm 17. Bad little white chick, right? My nigga sit there and talk to her. He say when he tried to figure out when her birthday. Her birthday is seven months. My man's chops it up with her on Facebook for six months. Six months he been talking to this girl, going back and forth, giving her game. What we gonna do? How we gonna do it? You know, 
talking way too much on the Facebook for somebody you ain't never met to tell you the truth. She finally said, well, they finally come to the agreement. Let's get together. Let's meet. Her birthday ain't came yet, though. He meet police, nab him up. Orange County. Orange County. I'm telling you, out of all the places on the West Coast that I see cases go down, Orange County is the most popular. I don't know why. I've been to Orange County. It seemed like a nice neighborhood. I don't, I don't know why, but Orange County is the coldest place. So to answer your question, brother, I do believe these guys are getting set up. But here's another thing, the truth that a lot of people in the game don't want to admit. Your average girl that's a prostitute was turned out between 15 and 16 years old. The average, your average walking streetwalker prostitute. And nowadays with the internet, it's probably even more so because the internet makes it even easier. A chick ain't even got to go hit the blade. She ain't got to have a nerve for the curve, right? So if the average woman is turned out 15, 16 years old, you mean to tell me all these pimps ain't none of them got no underage bras? Come on, man, do the math. Some of these niggas is lying. A lot of these niggas got underage bras and they're not saying nothing about it. That's why when some of these guys catch these cases, they're not going as hard as I have been going on my movies about don't fuck with these kids. Look at this nigga got 77 years. Look at this nigga got 127 years. Look at this nigga got life. This nigga's gang goofy. So when these niggas, they partners get caught with this 16-year-old bitch and they be talking about free the homie. Come on, man. You know what it really is. You know what it really is. Till the bangers trip. Man, I don't, man, y'all niggas, y'all young niggas be talking some slick shit that I don't even understand. This nigga said, till the bangers trip. Please explain to me what that mean, man. Is that some new slang or some shit you niggas talking about, man? I'm slapping hoes like dominoes. Okay, well, you go ahead, do you gonna do what you want to do. That bitch go tell the police you slapped her and held her beyond her will. They hit you with that kidnapping, niggas. You're gonna be praying to God you listen to my black hair. You're gonna be like, I would have listened to that old nigga that looked like the wizard with the beard and then slapped this bitch. I'm not <laughs> slapping shit. I'm not slapping nothing. I'm not even arguing, bruh. Promise you I'm not. I don't give a fuck. Sit my monkey ass right here on YouTube. Try to get this YouTube money. Tell y'all to go to 2 real for tvcom Go get these movies. Orange County bangers. Yeah, Orange County is... Oh, you talking about the gang bangers? I mean, we're not talking about gang bangers. This is not... Listen, man. If you in the... <laughs> If you're in a chat looking for gangbangers, man, this is the wrong chat. This is a place. This place smell like Gucci cologne and gators and minks. This is all players over here, man. There's not no gangbangers in there. Probably some former gangbangers, previous gangbangers, part-time gangbangers. Gang members. Yeah, man. Zach Robinson, what's up with it, pimp? Hey, when I call y'all pimp, man, I really don't mean real pimp. So please don't think I'm incriminating nobody. I'm just saying, like, what's up, player? You know, like I said in cross country pimping. Pimp in my term mean person in movie production. You dig? That's what pimp means to me. I'm addicted to chapstick on the low. I gotta pull the shit off because I don't like nobody knowing my flavor. I don't like giving away the combination of my lock. Band number nine, believe that. Zach Robinson, what's cracking, man? Hey, man, if anybody want to call in, I'm here. If not, I'm here talking to y'all. Hey, man, I don't know which one of y'all said don't diet, but I got to. I got to look in control and fresh. I wasn't even going to go on live today because I ain't shaved up and shit. But I kind of like it a little gray right there because now I look like Doctor Strange and shit on low. You know what I mean? You seen the movie Doctor Strange? No, but I was thinking about David Banner. Like, he's all white. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't David Banner. He on that pro black shit. That ain't that ain't my that ain't my page. I fucks with David Banner though. Please do. Uh, you got jokes, huh? Trying to crack a joke on the player. Y'all can get y'all little jokes off today. Y'all got me on an off day. It's all good. 
Hey man, listen, man. I know Sir Cap told me uh we can't be screaming free this or free that, but the homie ain't been sent us yet. I want y'all to reach out, send some kites, man. Listen, man, I want y'all to send some letters. I want everybody. How many people we got watching right now? We got 44 people watching right now. This is what I want. I want all 44 of y'all, man. I know all of you, especially if y'all black. If all y'all black, I know y'all know at least one nigga locked up right now. I know. I want all y'all to just send them a letter, man. If you ain't got no money, you got to understand, man. $10 ain't a lot of money on the streets. $10 is a lot of money to a brother locked up. He can get him some commissary. and Plus, it make brothers feel important, man, when their name get called for mail, man. Reach out for y'all people, man. Commissary is very necessary, man. And if you a lazy motherfucker and don't feel like mailing out no shit, nowadays they got shit like J-Pay. The J-Pay, you can go online. You can send money to a nigga books right online. Same way y'all sitting on the computer right now, on your phone right now, or like you log on to Facebook, you can send a kite to a dude. Matter of fact, they even got a new system. I ain't up on it because I ain't really a letter writer. I'm the type of the senior magazine, senior book, send you some money. I ain't finna write you no love letters though, nigga. But you can write a letter online. Like you could type it up and then you could send it, send it online. I don't know the website to that. But I know JPay is where you can send the money. Niggas now got Facebook pages and shit. I be having niggas locked up, niggas doing 30 years, and they be on my Facebook page. I'm like, nigga, how you got Facebook in the joint, nigga? Niggas be in there. Too much shit going on. It's too much. I remember how I was when I was in the pen. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you out, brother. My wife said black DNA would improve her line. What the fuck are y'all talking about? You're a real one, like Pimp C. Say, Maroon. I try to be. Try to be. I try to get y'all game because game is all I got. You know what I mean? I wasn't born with no silver spoon in my mouth. I ain't I ain't got nothing else to give you. I ain't, I ain't no Rockefeller. I can't, I, can't, I can't give out jobs. You know what I mean? I can't employ niggas. I can't go to the hood and, 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 and give out housing. I don't own a housing project. So what do I have to give my people? All I can give them is the information and knowledge that I've received over my journeys. That's what I am. I'm an explorer. You know what I mean? Like Abba Tutu. You don't know who that is? I said his name fucked up. Anyway, he was an explorer and he spent his life exploring the world. He's considered the world's greatest traveler. And he, he traveled the world and through the world, he documented his travels. So he's the most, he's considered the most traveled man in the world. You would love to do that? Guess what? That's what I do for a living. God damn it. That's right. I go cross country. I travel the world. I document shit, man. And I come back with my I come back with my stories and I share it with you guys, man. And thanks to the technology, I'm getting up on it where I could do it with this YouTube and shit like that. And I appreciate y'all for why you be using for your beard. Oh, what you, oh, what what you be you niggas is really hung up on my beard, ain't you? Man, I don't use nothing, man. That's called good old school testosterone, man. I'm a man. I'm a lion, nigga. I dick hard like a rock wala. <laughs> no, I can't give them my secret. All right, I'm gonna give y'all my secret, man. I'm gonna give you my. I'm gonna give y'all niggas my secret on my beard, okay? See, I can't even give you a secret. Somebody calling in. Hello. Hello. What's happening? Yeah, this is my Roy. What's happening? Man, can you turn down the stuff in the background, pimp? Yeah, do that. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why he didn't take the deal for three years. Man, can you turn down the stuff in the background, pimp? Yeah, do that. Yeah, uh, now what you say, player? Well, I was just saying, when he said he got a deal for three three years, why wouldn't you take that when he stays all that time? Man, I don't think he I don't think he had a deal for three years. I don't think they offered him a deal for three years. I think what he said was there were certain people that was on his case, the Rico Act with him, that was offered stuff that actually got them home. But some of those niggas was broke niggas that didn't even have no business on the case and they didn't even have cars and they was just light associates. I think with, with the charge he got on him, I don't think he was ever offered three years. Yeah, 
think a lot of times when niggas got that type of shit, they can take it to the box and the details getting off and ain't really nothing close, but like 188 bucks or something crazy. Like, that niggas was in there playing for like, 10 years type of shit. 108, 188 months. If a nigga told me some shit like that, I wouldn't even know how to calculate that shit. What the fuck does... 15, 15 years. God damn. Yeah, I mean, I mean he, he definitely, I don't mean, I'm saying he definitely had a lot of shit. I mean, he had a lot of Well, well, I mean, I, 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 man, my thing is, man, is man, it, where you calling from, man? Seattle. Seattle. Okay. My thing is, uh, you know, I can never doubt what somebody say because I didn't see some unbelievable shit happen, and and then it actually wound up being true. So if that brother said he had those charges, those pimp charges, and they was misdemeanor charges, and this, man, I, I really believe it. I mean, what point he got a lot of me for? You know what I mean? Like. He give he giving us some information, you know what I mean. So the best thing I can say is take it with a grain of salt and hope you don't get found in that position. But you absolutely you absolutely right. Most time I see niggas get charged, they finna get bonked over the head. Oh yeah, no, I mean like I said, being in the actual federal penitentiary and actually seeing the sentencing sentencing guidelines and shit like that, I never saw no guidelines that had that that that, that, that least amount of time. So. Like I said, maybe it's just over here or on the West Coast, but like I said, that's all brand new to me. And I just don't know if he's saying he would have got three years, but he don't want to have to get out and try to explain how he was getting three years. It's just I'm trying to figure out. I don't think he's. I don't think, he's, I don't think he said. I don't think he said three though, bro. I think in that I, I'd have to go back and listen to it, but I think what he, he said they offered him time. But I don't know exact. I don't think he said three because he he be. I think what you got a misunderstanding is he been in there three years. So I, I think he I think he was saying something about the eleven or something and he was in there three years, but I, I know they didn't if they would have offered him three, I'm sh sure I'm sure he would have took that. Okay. Yeah, man, he ain't crazy. I'm they probably came to him with a crazy ass offer and they was trying to charge him with all kind of silly shit. And you know the, the worst thing a nigga want is to be registered as a sex offender. So I know he probably didn't want that on his on his coat, man, to be registered. Who want to be registered as a sex offender? Yeah, that makes, I mean, that makes, that makes sense. Like I said, definitely hoping for the best for him. I don't know if nobody knows predicting it like that, but you know, some of that shit's not that. I know he said he wants to do some paperwork, and I definitely you know, hope to get briefed to the line and let us know what's happening, right? <laughs> yeah, man, um... Man, you know, I would, I would, I would hate to be in that position, just be waiting on these white folks to tell me what they're gonna do with the rest of my life, and that's why I be trying to. That's why I try to tell brothers, man. Like, you be thinking, like, man, I tell them to go get a college degree or go get a job. Yeah, it might take three years to do this, four years to do that. Man, you four years on a college campus is better than doing four years in a prison yard. You know, I mean, I don't know, man. I just, I'm just trying to give some news you could use, man, and hopefully. The next man won't fall for it. I just know that with a guy like Pimpsey who knows better to then be fucking with some underage kids, for him to get that type of charge, I just thought it was fugazi. I'm like, that don't even sound right. This is a nigga I know to know better. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, And the, and, 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 and the bad thing about it is when you fight the feds, man, your money don't really matter. And, and man, they, they took down niggas like Big Meech who had plenty of money. I mean, you know what I mean? They don't get, they took down the mob, John Gotti. These niggas had hundreds of millions. M millions of dollars ain't nothing to the feds because they got unlimited resources. So your little money don't mean nothing to them niggas at all. Yeah, yeah, ain't no bail. You ain't going nowhere. 
you ain't gonna, and that's some scary shit, man. You know, that's a, man, but you know what, man? I just posted some shit on Facebook for y'all that's not on my Facebook. Go join my Facebook. Uh, man, I just posted some shit on Facebook saying that, 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 that a lot of things that we call illegal, the laws that we, we going by right now, where at one point were elite, were legal. I mean, a lot of things that are illegal, you know, uh, apartheid was legal. The Holocaust was legal. Slavery was legal. You know what I'm saying? So all these things is legal in the eyes of whoever making the laws. So as long as these white folks are making the laws and saying, yo, this is legal, this is illegal, you know, niggas will always be victims of slavery. And that's all it is. If a nigga can kick in my door right now and take me and put me in, in, in and hold me hostage and put me in custody, with no bond, man, you tell me that ain't slavery. That's modern day fucking slavery. That's all that is. And and the fucked up thing about it is, ain't a motherfucking thing we could do about it, man. Y'all just be like, damn, man, it's fucked up. They got Maroy, man, free Maroy. You know what I mean? It's, it's fucked up. Ain't shit we could do. All of us together, we can't do nothing, man. He's, they lock niggas up, we can't do shit. This ain't our country. This ain't our country. It's a scary thing, so that's why you got to walk on eggshells, man, and do your best to keep your nose clean, man. And then when I see these hating ass niggas hate on each other, other black men, it's like the bullshit we going through as black people. And then we got other black men going through the same, hating on us. It's like, what the fuck? It's like some real life Django shit. You a real life house nigga, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You hating on niggas. Man, it's just crazy, bro. No, what topic are you talking about, bro? Go ahead, kick it, man. It's all good. Oh, man. Uh, I listened to Kiko. What's his name? Oh, shit. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, he's. <sighs> yeah, you know what, man? That guy, man, that guy, honestly, man, with that dude, he has mental. Something is mentally wrong with him. <laughs> like, no, 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 no bullshit, bro. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. That's why I don't even play with the nigga no more, man, because I realize he's like. He's like mental, so he's mentally ill. You know, in your life, if you done had a whole bunch of failures and shit ain't working because the nigga's not stupid. You know, one thing about it, man, an intelligent man can play stupid, but a stupid man can't play intelligent. So the nigga's not stupid, but the fact that he's not stupid and he keep failing and nothing works for him, that's driving him crazy. And he looks at me, he's like obsessed with me. When you got you, when when you got his baby mama talking about how he's obsessed with me, I wish a bitch would say, I'm obsessed with another nigga. Fuck out of here. I ain't even thinking about no other nigga like that. So everything I do, he just tries to follow it, copy it, and go behind it. It's like a stand. You know that uh Eminem song stand? <laughs> hey, real hey. Hey, hey, my, hey, my G. I'm not even trying to roast to crack jokes on him right now. I'm being dead serious. The nigga, the niggas a stand, man. So when I see him doing this shit, I just kind of like look at it, and be like, man, this nigga's weird as fuck. So I don't even. I used to go back and forth and try to flag his video. Now I don't even flag it. I'm like, let him go. On. Hopefully, he make him a couple bucks and he could be cool, man. But the nigga just fucked up, man. He just fucked up, nigga. <laughs> Man, I, I was down. I was down in Orlando for a All Star Weekend. Man, that nigga wasn't nowhere to be found. Man, that was his town. Nigga, a nigga ain't a nigga alive gonna tell you they came to Vegas and couldn't find me, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, come on, man. This nigga's man. Man, you get me on some of them. I get worked up even thinking about that faggot, man. Shut up. <laughs> I do it next time. I don't want to get into off topic and shit, man. I just, I just thought it was weird because I know when you first got the call from uh from Pussy. Hey, 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 and just think of just think about what you said. As soon as I did the video, an hour later he got excerpts. So that means he was watching closely. I know right now he's tuned in watching. He's in here, sir. He's in here right now, tuned in. What? Like, yeah, man. Like the man is a real life stalker, man. It's like this shit is crazy, man. <laughs> hey, and, and and here's the cold shit about it, though, P. If the nigga would have came to me fresh off the top and be like, "Yo, man, I'm trying to get my thing off of my site, and I'm trying to do this and do that, man. Why don't you fuck with me?" I would have fucked with him, man. I would extended my hand to the nigga. 
Y'all know he got a little rape case in his background, man, man. You beat it or if it's over with, that ain't on me. I mean, that's your business, bro. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm going to look past that and do this and do that. Fuck with nigga. But he ain't solid. He's just a sucker. And some nigga, you can't treat a, you can't, you can't turn, like they say, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Man, you can't turn a hater into a player. You can't. You can't take you can't you can't you can't change a sucker into a soldier. If a nigga ain't got no heart, he ain't got no heart. You send him to war, he gonna die first day. So that's what he is. He just a sucker. There ain't nothing I can do about that. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, man. But you know that you know the crazy thing about it is I ain't even really tripping over him now. My thing that I trip over is the niggas that listen to the nigga. Like what type of how do you listen to this nigga that's been proven to be a, he's a blatant snitch. He's, he's tagging the FBI on people photos on Instagram. This nigga is, this nigga is fucking, I mean, this nigga did so much fuck shit for a nigga to fuck with him. is like, it's unbelievable. That shit is unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. But, but then with, but then with me, everything I do, they put it under scrutiny. I can't do shit. Nigga, I grow a beard. Niggas look at me weird. Like, well, fuck you got a beard for a nigga. Like, yeah, you, you're hiding shit. I mean, like, God damn. Like, so, you know, man, I don't know. These niggas, these niggas is weird, man. So, but you know, man, my new theory now is anytime niggas do some fuck shit, I just say Donald Trump is president. That mean we had millions of motherfuckers get up and go vote, vote for a motherfucker to be that leader who is a blatant racist, misogynist, and into separatism. That's what we got as the leader of our country. So if we got Donald Trump for president. We got to expect we got some stupid ass niggas running around. You know what I mean? So I don't, even, I don't even focus on them. I focus on the real ones like you, loved one. Just trying to keep it solid, man. And I appreciate you calling in with your part of the game on the shit you've been through and what you've seen. Because, man, you believe it or not, man, every time y'all see me post a story about a nigga that's getting locked up and doing time, man, I get emails, gifts. And I got a box over here full of gifts of niggas sending me shit. They'd be like, man, thanks to your DVDs, man, I got out the game or I missed this pitfall or I beat this case. Or, or I ain't in trouble, and I appreciate you, man. Thanks for the game. And, they, and then they going off to school or they doing some other shit. You know what I mean? It, it, and, and it's real, man. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm about, man. I, I, just, I don't want to see nobody locked up. What type of nigga want to see another nigga locked up? <laughs> man, that's beyond some hater shit, bro. Like, I, I'm a black man. Like, first off, I'm a black man, right? And in, in in this country, when they had slavery, how the fuck could I sit there and want to see you in slavery with me? You dig? Or you a house nigga, you want to see the niggas in slavery. And that's how that nigga is. That nigga's a cornball nigga. He want to see niggas locked up. It's fucking amazing, man. It's, he's a real life 2016 fucking house nigga. Whatever that nigga name from... Whatever that nigga name from Django is, the Samuel L. Jackson play. That's that nigga right there. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> hey, just a just an ugly aversion with his ugly. Ass. He mad at me because he ugly, man. Ugly motherfucker. <laughs> well, shit, I definitely appreciate you, fam. I'm gonna get at you, man. Let me go and let somebody else get in and get a word in there. So I don't watch the rest of the sermon. All right, pimp. Appreciate you. Yep, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go off on my little tangent when he asked me about a hater. Yeah, corny ass nigga, so do kill me. Who was this Kevin Smith with all this rape, rape, rape? What the fuck is wrong with him, man? What is wrong with this nigga? Matter of fact, let me block this goofball ass nigga. How do I block a nigga? How did how do I do that? Hello? What up, what up, Pat? 
Hey, what's going on, boss? Uh, not too much. Oh my nigga, what's up? What's going? Hey, this is my this is my pro black brother. What's cracking up? What's going on, player? Man, I was watching you. I was tuned in live. Wanted to call in, say what's up, man. Okay, man, give I me. Think, uh, huh? Go ahead, give me some news you could use, man. Nah, man, the topic, man, about the brother and the underage. I mean, I can stick to the topic. I mean, my viewpoint on it. Is I, I think maybe the age of Pippin might be coming to an end because if you look at back day, if y'all say pimps was glorified and they used to be respected by the police and everyone, why you don't see pimps today? I don't never like when I'm in the clubs or anywhere, you don't, they don't be there or they don't have them out or even in the strip club or wherever, you know what I mean? So maybe I'm just not in the right places, but they not, they not trying to promote and be glorified. They not figures in the community. If y'all said that they were back in the past. So to an end, because if they got to mess with underage girls, that's some desperate type shit. You know what I mean? Why you got to mess with underage girls? You see what I'm saying? So no, I, 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 they might need to tune in. You got time periods. When we came over here as slaves, they wasn't pepper. So as we started getting free, that shit, women needed protection. So that shit became a profitable business. But now these these girls, they got Google. They don't need niggas no more. Even if you think 18, 19 year old, you catch a girl fresh, 18, 19, she of age, you can, you can mac on her or whatever. You can pimp on her, right? Yeah. She too far, far there. She got too much motherfucking mouth, too much motherfucking attitude. Nigga, now you're going to have to use the pimp hand too fucking much. You're not going to be able to motherfucking... Your mouthpiece got to be extra fucking cold this day to just motherfucking uh, get an 18, 19 year old because they too fucking advanced now. Fresh out of slavery, motherfuckers don't know shit. We a hundred years in now. Mom, man, it's too much going on. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's not like that. So now you got to get, oh, I need something that's just completely fucking ignorant to the world. No, bro, 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 listen, man. You know, hey, man, listen, I love y'all. Hey, man, for y'all tuning in right now, y'all listening to my man. First off, let me give y'all this landscape. This is one of my conscious brothers from New York, man, pro-black, you know. From St. Louis, from St. Louis. He from St. Louis by way of New York. He from St. Louis, but he, he holding it down in Harlem, New York. Conscious brother, man. If y'all need the African medallions and all that stuff, this is the brother. But what you don't, Haru, what you not understanding, man? You you're not getting a full grip of the game. You know the way that you sounding, it just sounds hella hella square, and you don't understand. You no, I mean, no, I'm just I'm just telling you, little bro. Nah, listen, check this out. I still got a, it's it's shit happening behind the scenes that pimps don't think about. That pimps don't know about. They not into metaphysics or astrology. So that's the conscious shit that I'm gonna throw in here with you. My you nigga, know, you, you talking about astrology and listen? Yeah, it makes a difference. It matters. Y'all might not believe in that. Uh, hey, you, uh, know, you know what? You know what? Hey, you know what? You know what? Hey, 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 listen. You know what? I believe game can come from anywhere. So I'm going to let you kick the game, man. Go and kick it. Drop some knowledge on us. Maybe you can give us some insight on some shit we don't know. Yes. Go ahead, right. brother. So in astrology, we coming into the age of Aquarius. That's the age of knowing. That's the age. We coming out of the age of Pisces, which is the age of belief. That's why the Christianity and all that shit been so thick. But now motherfuckers is waking up. We coming into the age of Aquarius, the age of knowing. That is a feminine time frame. You know what I mean? We coming out of masculine energy going into feminine energy. So now it's the, the, the this is the age of the feminine. We coming into it. So women got power that they didn't have in the last time period. So that's another thing like the age of pimping might be ending right now. And that's what niggas is not realizing. Motherfuckers might want to go get a reading. There's a brother named Lloyd Strayhorn. Hey, you know, hey, you know, hey, hey, you know what? As much as I want to tell you, man, to cut that square shit out, I kind of respect what you're saying. Bruh. <laughs> no, no, I, I get, hey, hey, look. Y'all, 
Hey, look, I get, I get what you, I get what you said. You saying that the times change. Once upon a time, we used to wear bell bottoms. They don't do that no more. Once upon a time, they used to wear stacks. They don't. They used to break dance and shit and pop block. They don't do that it no more. I understand. But I'm. But but but. I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, brother, the game been going on since the beginning of time. It, it's probably been, it's probably gonna change up a little bit. But they was talking about prostitution in the Bible, bro. This shit ain't going nowhere. Every every one 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 thing one thing we all have in common. Every person on this earth, one thing we all have in common is every single person on this earth, black, white, Chinese, whatever. We all got here through sex. So therefore, sex ain't going nowhere, bro. Nowhere. No doubt. No doubt. But I do. Res I do. I stay sick. I mean, we ain't just talking about sex. We talking about pimping specifically. Hey, man. But okay. But okay. But if if if, if prostitute. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Can you agree with me that prostitution will never end? I can, I can agree with that. Just prostitution. I just want to get on that page. So we can agree that prostitution will always, there will always be a woman willing to do something for some money. She's willing to have sex with a guy for some money. Spend time with a guy for some money. We can agree with that, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, now, if we agree with that, can we also agree that if you're a doctor or a lawyer, the last thing you want is a bitch that's a prostitute. You don't want to come home to a bitch that's a prostitute, do you? That's been selling herself to another man, do you? Well, I, I mean, I'm. No, wait a second, man. I, now, look, look, brother. Absolutely no. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh. Those, the guys that's the wait, wait a time. second. Wait, just follow me, bro. I know you're smart. Don't overthink this. Don't overthink it. What I'm saying is, if you are a doctor, a lawyer, a professional, a banker, whatever the fuck you do for a living. Are you a regular square man? You come home every day. You want to come home to a regular square woman. You don't want to come home to a woman that say, yeah, she paid the gas bill, but she paid it by sucking some dude dick or she turned the date. You don't want to do that, right? You don't, you, you want a regular square bra. You don't want to, you don't want a prostitute, right? Okay. So now what do you think? You think those women are just supposed to be sentenced to loneliness for life where they shouldn't have a man that loves them the square women no the hoes the prostitutes oh right no <laughs> oh, no you don't you but what i'm saying don't you think the women the prostitutes they deserve a man though yeah everybody oh, deserves somebody everybody deserves somebody right and who's better for a hoe but a pimp I rest my goddamn case, man. I rest my motherfucking case. Man, I should have been an attorney. <laughs> I'm just, but don't that make sense though? Who's better for a prostitute than a pimp? <laughs> Watch, they gonna figure that shit out, man. Google, motherfucker. Nah, but um, look. I saw a documentary where they was in other countries and they were showing the prostitution over there where it was young age, where it was teenage girls. And it was the shit was ran by women all over the country, in China and India, all over and shit. So, yeah, you know, sex is all is it will definitely man, always be so Listen, man, women, 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 there will always be older women to introduce younger women to the game. Women, exactly. will, women will always look up for another woman for advice and, and guidance and stuff like that. But that still is not going to replace a man. A woman needs a man. That's just simple as that. You know how many chicks I know that are gay and and got a woman and she, man, come on, man, that shit, that shit is a, that shit is a trendy fad. That shit is cute and cool. We know young Ma is hot right now and it's cool. Get your girlfriend, ma. It's all good. At the end of the day, she's gonna be back over there at that dick though. Yeah, I don't. If you look at man. It, uh, that shit crazy, man. I don't know, man. The, I, I, if I, I think the game, they're making the game look weak, man. No, what it, what it, it, what it is, it's Cause, just... I mean, because don't everybody want to be a pimp, right? Everybody want multiple women. And when you think about it, you like, damn, well, how's these niggas doing that shit? But then you like, damn, is these niggas really doing this? Where is these niggas at? You mean, you know what I mean? And then you hear all the stories you take, like, damn, 
I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> These niggas fucking up. Well, listen, man. <laughs> listen, listen. <clears throat> but see, but see, but see, listen, listen. What you saying about somebody liking multiple women? You don't have to have multiple women to be a pimp. Hence, you 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 are conscious, brothers. Let's go into that. Look at your brother. You look at your brother polite. Brother polite has four wives. But you, but if you, but but uh, but uh, but uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, just thinking about that recently, you're watching your channel, I'm like, oh damn. Is it easier to get four women as wives or is it easier to get four women to hold? Well, see, you oh, okay, man. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's for the polygamy either. It sound it sound like you you on the borderline of trying to get get your little stable together, man. That's what it really sounds like you're trying to do. <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to gather you three man, chicks, every man. Every man is. Every man is. Every man is. Yeah. Absolutely. Intentions, though. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. But well, all I'm saying is, if you get you some women and you practice polygamy, that doesn't have anything to do with pimping. Pimping, you, you got to understand that pimping well, is. If you saw the Breakfast Club interview with Polite, he kind of touched on the similarity. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it stems a little bit. Absolute, ab absolutely. But the, only, but the only difference is what the women do for money. Exactly. That's, exactly. that's the only difference. Now, polite. There, there's no there, the brother polite, and I and I speak of his name, and and with all due respect, brother polite. I mean, if he wanted to be in the game, he would be obviously a cold motherfucker with it. If he was able to maintain four wives for twelve years, the average nigga can't maintain one girl for twelve years. So for him to maintain four wives for twelve years, show that he has everything it takes to be the type of man that can maintain these women. So now what he wanted them to do, that would be totally up into his discretion. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's what it is for you for these pimps. Same way. Yeah. But okay, but don't you understand? Some people love the game. They want to be in the game. You try you trying to make sense of some shit that you don't understand because in your mind, you like that shit is crazy. Why a bitch want to go do that? Man, some some you gotta go watch my film America's Daughters. Some women want to fuck with niggas. They want to get money like that. That's what they want to do. Look at how many people in the bunny ranch, man. Chicks who got master's degrees. Man, these are people with college degrees, but they realize that shit ain't paying. So they go to the bunny ranch and they sell sex to get money. You know what? And and I can kind of, because you know what? Women, women are natural nurturers that's just a fact they're mothers they're natural nurturers so some women may just have that energy super you know what i mean super nurturers you know what i mean they want to just give love all the fucking time i don't know man no you know you said it right you hit it right on the head <laughs> You hit it right on the air. That's just, uh, hey man, that's just the way it is, man. You try to figure that shit out, man. You go. That's like me trying to figure out a hater and what a hater think. I'm not a hater, so I don't have no way of trying to figure out what the fuck this hating ass nigga hating about. I don't know. So if you sitting there trying to figure out what this hoe thinking about, you ain't a hoe. You ain't never gonna figure out how this hoe feel. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, man. The game changing, man. I think y'all pimps need to sit down and wait a second, man. Don't be charging. Hey, man. Don't, hey, wait. Don't be charging me with no motherfucking crunch. I'm a y'all pimps. I'm a filmmaker, man. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> you sit down and refigure this shit out, man. Because they looking weak, man. <laughs> man, uh, niggas is coming up, man. They need to figure this shit out, man. Man, no, uh, man, niggas. Just, you just put the brother, you just put the other brother on on your channel with the with the internet website for the girls doing the webcam shit. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And then there's girls that ain't even doing shit. That's just in a strip club like that. It's like I don't know, man. Man, I'm telling you what you need to do. You need to go down that's to the. Why they getting these younger age girls, man? Because. Man, these when these females getting too smart, man. Like, why wouldn't they just go to Africa, man, and just buy one then, like whatever? Just or, I, nigga, man, did you that, just say go to Africa, man? Why wouldn't you get somebody? Man, you, like, hey, man, you are, you are, you are really, you are really, you are really losing the crowd with this shit. Going back to <laughs> Africa, shit. Man. I can imagine. But nah, man, they shit looking weak, man. I, I don't get it. I, that's why I say the times is changing. We're going into a time age. I don't, I don't believe 
even Juju said it is it, it, it's not worth it. I, like he did, so man, but it, it, hey, this is no different. Than, let me tell you what it really is. Don right? was the last man standing. It's over. He won. Yeah, la, 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 yeah, last last man standing coming soon. Two River TV .com. Log on, go get that. Hey, but listen, let me tell you what it is, man. Anytime the black man makes money, now listen, this is real shit. Anytime the black man makes a large amount of money in America, the federal government comes up with ways to block it. The lot of the lottery used to be the numbers game. Black people ran the numbers game. The, the, uh -huh. Then they then they changed it and took it to the state lottery and made it illegal for niggas to run numbers. The dope game when the dope game started cracking, niggas when crack cocaine hit the streets and cocaine was getting and it was popping. When cocaine first hit the streets, man, white folks was getting money. Niggas started getting money off that crack cocaine. The government came in, they made Rockefeller laws and got niggas off the streets on that shit. Yeah, no doubt. Now that, yeah, the prostitution has been going on forever, strip clubs, brothels, peep shows, all that shit. But now, when you got young niggas pulling up in motherfucking Bentleys and Rolls Royces, shit, doing shit, the niggas, the having cars that cost these niggas whole year salary, two year salary. You know, they right. they they feel some kind of way about that. So they making all these new laws against these niggas on that shit, though. This is nothing new, bro. Right. So what I'm saying is, is that is it? Does that not mean that the time is coming to an end? Because what happened to the days like when Don Juan and when Bubba Gray, what's up, pimp? The police used to respect them. They say the police used to come and shake their hands. And man, listen, man. Take pictures with them. Man, listen, man. I remember. When just and I'm talking about recently, as of recently, I'm talking about maybe eight years ago, eight to ten years ago. We used to be down in Memphis. We was at a player's ball. I got it on my movie, Down South Players, available now on TwoRealPTV.com. And uh, we was down there in Memphis, and man, the police jumped out of their police cars, came into the lobby, and took pictures with all the all the players. Took pictures with white folks. Took pictures with Bishop. I mean, this shit was it. It was different, bro. Now, do you still think it's like that today? Fuck no, it ain't like that. Okay, okay, that's what I'm saying. But let me tell you why it ain't like that. It ain't like that one out of jealousy because of how much money's being made and the flossing. But two, and most importantly, the victimization of these young kids and the federal government is pushing down on these niggas to lock these niggas up and get them off the streets, bro. Do the you believe that real pimps right now? That, that are doing it working right now do are they hiding do they not want to be seen are they real low-key absolutely yeah did it have to be was it like did they have to be that way in the past i mean you got to each his own you always had guys that was low-key in the past and you had guys that's flamboyant just like right now you got guys that's low-key and you got guys that's flamboyant that shit ain't gonna never change that's just a personal preference you know, just like a rapper, every rapper don't have to wear a bunch of jewelry like Gucci Man or Boosie, but some rappers do. I mean, that's just that's just personal preference, bro. So the one, but I'm saying, okay, so the ones that's getting jammed up are they the flamboyant ones? Not all the time. Not all the time. No, not a not all the time because, like I say, man, it was a guy that just got three life sentences in Vegas. Man, he wasn't a flamboyant guy. Not a man. It, if you get man, listen, man. It don't matter if you flamboyant. It don't matter if you on a movie. It don't matter if you, none of that shit matters. You only going to jail for breaking the law. Uh, Gucci man and Jeezy could rap about dope all they want until they get caught with a kilo, nigga. They not going to. That's when they in trouble. If you break the law. Uh, I right, professional say don't give them too much game. All right, man. Hey, man, that's your time for game, man. Hey, look, I'm gonna send you. I'm a. I'm gonna send you an invoice of how much you owe me for that game session, man. That's about two hundred and fifty dollars worth of ism right there. No doubt, no doubt. Nah, man, keep it real, man. Um, you know, keep doing this live streams, man. We'll build later. Hey, man, I fuck with you, man. Already, peace. Hey, no, nah, man, that was my. That's my little youngin', man. That's my little youngster from uh he from St. Louis, but he by way of New York. He one of those conscious brothers. You know, he hang with Sidnetta TV and Brother Polite and all them guys. And 
they on the pro black shit. He be trying to get me on that. And I am on that. I wish I could show y'all my I ain't gonna show y'all shit. Anyway, I am on that, but I can't just go straight hella left field on that. LaRue Harrison hella gave up some game. I try to, man. Like I say, man, I gotta give you game because game is all I got. What the fuck? You got call waiting. I'm fixing to call in. That motherfucker said she fixing to call in. F I X I N. Were you fixing to call in? Call in. I'm out. Y'all stay down. Come up with your receipts. Can't take no more, brother. My bro brother Malcolm gone, Mr. Nasty. Call in, Candy Caramel Caramel Candy. Set, I, I show hope Caramel Candy is a female. I swear to God. If it's a nigga, <laughs> if it's a nigga named Caramel Candy, call me. I promise to God, nigga. 702-806-4880. And put this number back in. Everybody should have my number by now, man. God damn. Man, damn near that shows 15 good. years. That was good. If you don't have them, keep their state number anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from the old school, man. My mom's had the same. My mom's still, my mom's dead. She still got the same phone number on. Wow. At the house. The house number. She owned the house. Right. The house number on. It's still to this day, nigga. So I, I try to keep my numbers the same. All you got to do is, I don't know about that. Caramel, are you in Dallas or Houston? Zach Robinson, what's up with the player? Caramel Candy, call in. She talking about an email, Mr. Feelgood, email me. Are they on here macking each other? Are y'all niggas getting it? Y'all using the my damn, connection. yeah, y'all using my goddamn group as the love connection. Yeah, niggas trying to knock holes and shit like, hey, what's happening? Where you at? Yeah, I'm going to get down over here. Let's go have a drink. <laughs> Caramel candy, man, you was talking all that can't give up my locale like that. I respect it. Caramel Candy, you was talking all that slick shit about I ain't have call waiting. Call in, man. You got so much to say. Go ahead. We trying to hear. Fella Williams, what's popping, PM? What's cracking, fam? We in here just, I was just in here doing a Q&A over the uh, recent story on PMC, man. Uh, how long have I even been on the air, man? This shit don't even tell me, man. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I was just doing a Q&A, man. Just answered any questions, man. Listen, man, I really need y'all to go to TwoRealForTV.com, man. Show some support. I got a GoFundMe page. I don't really be pumping it like I need to. Y'all need to support, man. The cause, man. Help your boy out, man. But go and buy some DVDs. Go buy the whole Two Real for TV package. I got a special going right now, man. So I'm on with y'all. Y'all buy the whole DVD set for 100 bucks. It's usually nine DVDs. I'll send you all. How many DVDs I got? 13? Mm -hmm. Do I have 13 or is it 12? 13 films. 13 films, 100 bucks. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. A that's, a lot of, that's a lot of entertainment game. And everything going out just like this. I can't show the address. First class mail. I got too many screens up here, man. This is cuffing. Uh, what? What is it called? What is it called? Uh, cuffing season or cuddling season? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that shit. I don't know nothing about that. I got to call you, man. Fella Williams, call in, man. 702-806-4880, man. Rapper Johnson, rapper Hollywood Division. Hollywood, what's cracking? Sunset Boulevard in this mother... Hold on, man. I'm trying to type in this number, man, for y'all players, man. I'm thinking, you think I should just let this upload just like this, or should I edit it? I think you should let it, don't edit it, because it was live. Okay. All right. Y'all feeling my hat? 
Hey, this them original 150s. This is before Don C started making them with the, gate, with the gator on it. Yeah, that's my nigga. Crazy ass nigga. Got a call coming in from Wisconsin. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. All right, whoever that was to call, call me back, man. Fuck it, I'll call you back. Fuck, my brother didn't want to answer me. Who was in the background? Hey, man, don't be worried about who in my motherfucking background, man. <laughs> it's not happening. Right. What's cracking? Who this? This is Bella Williams. What's happening, Playboy? Hey, what's up with the PM? <laughs> What's up, my nigga, though? Everything's good. Jack. Hey, man, I just heard you had the, uh, the conscious brother on there, man. Yeah, the man. man. The man lost in the sauce. Yeah, he was uh, greedy to pull the table twice the square, man. So, we, you know, I see you about ready to give up on him, man. Man, it's yeah, hey, hey, hey. Hey, that's my little that's my little young conscious brother, man. I was just trying to lace him. He really don't he don't get it right now. Understand it. He don't he don't I, I tried to break it down as best as I could, man. Give him a one on one game, a one pimping one on one and let him know what's happening. But you know, we'll see how that works. I'm yelling at the T Z screen. Hey, man, you you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, man. But hey, we need brothers like that to keep us fresh and sharp on other parts of the game of life. Because mm -hmm. the shit he knows, we might not know. Yeah. And the shit we know, he might not know. We he obviously Absolutely. don't know. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Um, yeah, I don't take nothing from him, man. We we need uh all kinds of man to, to shape us up, man. So that's a beautiful thing. But um he's just one of those guys, man. He just wasn't geared on this game and, and I get it, like I said, I get it. A lot of people ain't man. A lot of people, uh, no disrespect to him, but game goofy, so we get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he he, he, de he definitely game goofy. He's a good brother, but he game goofy as a motherfucker. Ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, but see, he got some knowledge, too. But uh, what I really didn't get about the astrology thing. <laughs> sign of Aquarius. You know what I mean? You sound like an old 1972 uh, uh, Shylight album or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah, my name is, my name is Robert. I'm a, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Robert. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, no, man. Yeah, he lost, he lost a lot of people with that shit when he started going over to the Aquarius shit, man. Oh, fuck y'all. Hey, it a, did a nigga just send some flowers <laughs> over my goddamn group chat? Man, these niggas, man, you niggas is really showing y'all true square ass colors right now, man. This nigga just sent some flowers in a heart and a fucking smiley face to a. Hey, you sure that ain't Kiko? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that probably is some square shit that nigga would do. Since a man so obsessed with you, you dig, he probably on the low, and I don't know. Man, I really, I, I, man, I honestly, I honest to God think that man is gay, bro. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. he, I think he's gay, and he, 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 he wants to, he wants to, he wants to suck my balls, and I'm just not with it, man. I'm not with it. <laughs> he's a goddamn fool. <laughs> something wrong, something wrong with that nigga, man. Hey, I used to. <laughs> I get what you were saying too, man. Yeah, he is a, uh, you know, kind of mentally unstable. Yeah. Real. Hey, and he another game goofy nigga. He game goofy as a, he sound worse than my motherfucking conscious brother, man. Yeah, your conscious brother was a little closer. You know, on this side, man. Uh, but your dude just don't. He ain't got it at all. He ain't got, and that's the thing. He just can't get it. And see, that's his life. His life has been filled with not getting it. He wanted to be a rapper, 
that shit didn't work. He wanted to be a DJ, that didn't work. He wanted to start a magazine, that didn't work. So everything he do, it don't work. So he figured, man, I could do this. I can get in this ism in this game shit because I'm going to fuck these bitches, get them pregnant. I'm going to try to do that. Man, nigga, that shit ain't working, man. He just... Hey, that nigga, a ruler, a rulership mentality. Hey, the quotable of the night, rulership mentality said, game goofy niggas make a player look impeccable. I love that. Hey, I'm going to use that. Hey, that's going on my new mixtape. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of that one. Yeah. Game goofy niggas make a player look impeccable, man. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass that over. I'm passing that over to Silky Slim. Put it on the next motherfucking Silky Sunday or something. That shit's player right there. Real shit. Yeah. That's is that eight. Hey fella, and that's what the and that's what these niggas don't realize. The game goofy nigga that make a player look impeccable, and they don't get that. So he don't under like that nigga don't realize why niggas fuck with me and don't fuck with him. He he really don't in his mind he don't understand it. Right, he thinks that uh, I don't know what he thinks because it was just like you was telling uh, the conscious brothers that uh, you know he he never understand what a whole thing is. So I could never understand what the man thinks because I ain't no hater. Never, you know, I really truly don't get it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Hey, the, hey, the cold the cold thing about it is, man. You know, I'm such a compassionate guy, man calling me getting my old age or whatever. I'm such a compassionate guy. At one point, I really tried to talk to the man. And I said, okay, well, maybe maybe I bumped him. Like, you know, maybe me and him know the same chick or something. I don't know. Maybe something happened or maybe I rubbed him the wrong way. I don't know. So I tried to talk to the man to figure out what exactly was wrong. What exactly he didn't like. Why was he so upset with me? And And the man really had absolutely no fucking reason he made no fucking sense, man. No you sense know, at all. What I've came to, uh, what I've came to understand in, in, in my forty plus years, man, is that uh, you know, jealousy and envy, man, make a brothers do some things that, uh, you know, they'd be really outside themselves. You know, man, when they just can't find something that they're good at. And I was explaining to my son, he's 25. Now, I was explaining to him, what you do in your 20s is going to show in your 30s. Believe that. What you do in your 30s is going to show in your 40s. So you have to get to something and stick to something. Whatever you're good at, whatever, you know, people say your passion or whatever, not, but whatever you're good at, you got to get to something and stick to something. You know what I'm saying? So cats who just can't catch, man, they just can't catch, you know, like they can't get their foot in the bundle, you know, they see other guys winning and they don't know how to take it versus going to a brother and saying, say, man, you know, I just can't seem to get a grip, man. I, you know, it ain't nothing sticking for me, man, because you, you know, extend your, your, your arm, man, and pull me up, you know, give me some game. You know, they, they got too much pride and won't do that. So they go to the, all the way to the left and start hating. You understand? Man, I always, I always tell people, man, never let pride get in the way of your progress, man. Never let pride, never let pride get in the way of your progress, but man. But it's been documented. One thing about it, man. I'm not trying to get religious on nobody, man. But I, I got the, I got the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible next to my uh, nightstand right now, and I can tell you this: that the first ever documented murder was Cain killed his brother Abel, and he killed him over jealousy. He killed him over jealousy. So you know that I, I understand how strong jealousy and envy is, man. You know the love is fake. But the hate is real, man. You know what I mean? The love the love is fake like a motherfucker. They'll say, yeah, man, I love you, man. What's up, player? All that love shit is fake. But that hate, man, that shit real, man. A nigga kill you over that shit, bro. These yeah, niggas will kill you. Shit. That's real shit right there. You know, because you know when they hate you, man. And you know the cold blood thing about it is, man, it takes so much energy to hate a nigga, man. You know what I mean? Because It takes so much energy, bro. It, I mean, dude. Man. Hey man, I, I mean I'm telling you, I be walking around the office, my assistant, my partners, 
They man, they could tell when I'm having one of them days when I'm enraged and when I'm just pissed off or something. And it just takes too much energy out of me. It just it feels so much better to be happy. So that's why even when I'm reporting the news, even if it's fucked up news, I'm just kind of happy about it because really I be feeling like, well, goddamn, at least it ain't me, man. I'm I'm free on these streets, man. I'm gonna make it. I don't give a fuck if I I might not eat steak today. I might eat noodles today, but it'll be all right. You know, I get the steak next week. You dig what I'm saying? So, man, you know, I, man, it, it takes too much energy out of a nigga, man. And the cold thing about it is if a nigga took all that energy he put into hating into something positive and productive, he'd he be a bad motherfucker. Man, be a cold-blooded nigga, man. You know, and, you know, when I know this man here, and just like here in the Bronx, because I've been around a few places, you know, I know this when, uh, People see you, man, and you're jumping out of forms, and, you know, you linked up and, and, and diamonds up and, you know, different things like that. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I was talking about myself. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, when, you, when those kind of things happen, man, uh, people, people, Really, man, they really not happy for you, man. They shake your hand and slap you on the back and all of that, you know, man. But they don't be happy for you, man. Hell, motherfucker. Man, hell, motherfucker, no, man. You know what I mean? Hell, no, man. They, these niggas, man. man, these niggas don't be happy for a nigga, man. Oh, Jack, that's cold, man. I just released, man, right there. That was a good feeling to get that out, man, because uh, I see it every day, man. And it's a cold-blooded feeling, man, because we all face with the same adversities, man, when we born, man, because we all come from nothing, you know, with most of us anyway. And, uh, you know, we we all got the same opportunities, which is nothing, but just some people are more motivated to make, you know, uh, something out of nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. And, uh, those are guys who are going to win all the time. Hey, man, for some of y'all players just tuned in right now, man, just for y'all to get the opportunity to listen in on a conversation of two players, you know, with a cameraman and a seasoned player, you know, chopping it up, you know, y'all really should be grateful for that, man, because this is the type of game that a lot of guys, when they was younger, they want to be around and trying to get that information and knowledge. I wish there was a motherfucking Maroy around when I was 22 to tell me yo don't do this don't do that that's why when i ran up on bishop don juan and he embraced me you know what i mean i remember the first thing he ever told me don't mess with them little kids i remember that so so when i see guys catching them cases especially and i know they've been around the church i'm like oh they knew better they knew better I seen this thing too. He was doing this interview. The church was doing this interview, and, and the thing he said was was cold blooded, and it kind of stuck with me. He said these guys, their game ain't sufficient enough to give it to a grown woman where she can move on it. Believe that. So, so therefore, they they resort to fucking with them kids. And I go back to Kenny Red. I don't fuck with the only juvenile I fuck with is in my CD deck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, believe that. You got that on Cross Country Pimper Volume 1. Available now to Rebel TV.com. Yeah, man. Uh, I already got it. For sure. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah but, man. Uh, but no, man, I, I, can, I, can, I can hear it in your voice, man. I know you seasoned on the player, man. And I truly appreciate you calling in and giving us a little enlightenment on the game. And I'm glad we're able to pop it and chop it about these suckers, too. And, uh, it's tragic of what happened with what with, 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 it's just so many downfalls in the streets. Yeah. And when people watch my films, they see the jury and they see the cars and mm -hmm. then and then they forget all the shit that come with it, man. That's right. Yeah, it's a beginning and an end, you know what I mean? But don't skip everything in the middle, you know, because the steps you take, man, is going gonna, is gonna to kind of determine your end. You know what I mean? Don't just look at the shiny shit, man. If you do the right thing and treat the game fair, you're going to get the shiny shit. But you'll be able to end on a good note, man, you know, with some real estate, uh, you know, something like that, man. You know where, you know, you can go and switch the game and do it the right way because what these niggas fail to remember is the game ain't to get in and get comfortable, man. You get in, you get your money, and you go other things, man, when you can live a decent life, man, when you start getting great like me and yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, 
know, they got to remember that, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, man. But see, that's why we can't shun brothers like the conscious brother, because he brings something else to the table, man. You know, man, we got to have all four corners covered, man. We got to know, you know, the game, the street game, life game. You know, we brother got to know their taxes, their business, everything. A brother got to be conscious. Even though he started talking about moon stars, quasars, and Elroy Jetson, we still got to know a little. We got to know a little bit of that because some of that shit might be connected to some shit deeper than what we know. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. That's right. So I keep my ears open to it all, man, even though it's as funny as a motherfucker. But at the same time, you still got to suck it up, man, and, and take heed because he just may know something that uh keep you from getting caught up. Just like you being on here, man, and giving a lot of us players a lot of game, man, and uh, what that news you can use, you know, is the thing. It's news you can use, man. Use it, players. If y'all out there and y'all can hear us, man, you players use it, man, because it might just save your life. You might be able to see your kids for the rest of your life, and you know, and you might be able to be next to them without seeing them behind that glass wall. Man, for real, player. Man, on that note, man, I'm 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 gonna let you slide, player, man. But uh, stay tuned with your boy, man. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say what you say, man. Be cool and careful. Yeah, believe that, man. Be cool and careful, baby. All right. I need to get some t-shirts made. That be cool and careful. Oh. I didn't even know that was my saying to right now. You always say that. Yeah, I just never really, I never really thought about it. I just did some shit. I say I, it wasn't like no slogan, it ain't a hashtag. I just be cool and careful, nigga. That shit. All I can tell a nigga: be cool. Be careful. <laughs> if you're not, you fucked off. I'm back. Okay, yo, we're going back to this uh, roasting of Zach Robinson. Yeah, nigga, we back on your heels. Nigga, did you just send <laughs> some flowers and a, a heart face to a chick over the goddamn group, man? Zach, man, you report in for duty right now. 702-806-4880. We have to find out what's going on. He's talking about salute. This is good game. Yeah, it's better than you sitting them hearts and them smiley faces <laughs> over this goddamn group, man. Candy Caramel. We don't even know who that is, man. Y'all be so quick. Man, see, that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all be so quick to chop it up and be hollering at these people. Y'all don't even know if that's a real chick. If she is a real chick, you don't even know what she look like. You don't know what she about. You don't know, man. She might be, you don't know, you don't know nothing. Lloyd Stayhorn numbers and you. Tell he talking about. I have no idea what he talking about. That's my conscious partner. Hey man, send me one of them Egyptian medallions, man. And I need them sneakers, man. Run me a tab, man. I'm good for it. Hey, look, my partner sent me this motherfucking cold ass Chicago hat though, right? New era joint, right? But look at it with the Chicago flag on the side. Y'all niggas ain't seen that joint yet. Come on, man. You ain't seen that joint yet. Yeah, that joint filthy. Oh, shit. Pick that up for me. Yeah, that motherfucker go hard. RIP PMC. Believe that. Uh, If you PMC fans, man, go get the best of both worlds. Available on my website right now. And you got to understand, man, if y'all want to watch my films, you do not have to wait to get it in the mail. I got digital downloads available right now. The whole collection. You can go right now, spend $9.99 with your boy. I know I'm worth $10. I know I didn't get y'all niggas worth $10 worth of game. Come on, man. I got to get my beard shaved, man. This shit costs $60 every time I go to the shop. You dig what I'm saying? $9.99. Go get the best of both worlds. Cross country, whatever. How my beard look? Do it look bogus? Niggas be on my shit. I look like a lion. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking to Babyface Q, Maroy. Who the fuck is Babyface Q? 100% woman over here. Babyface Q. Oh, Babyface Q. That's a chick. Hold up, those hearts ain't for me. Somebody calling in for me. 
Indiana. Hello? What's up, boss, man? I have to call in, man. You got me out of there, man. <laughs> oh, just, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, what up, what up, man? Yeah, man, I caught you over there slipping with your pimping, man. What's going on, man? You sending roses and love letters, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know, it ain't nothing like that, boss, man. Uh, you know, when you see something, you gotta say something to him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, man, I see you. I'm just fucking with you, player, man. It's all good, man. I ain't tripping, man. How you feeling though, boss? Man, I feel good, man. You know, just uh, people there, man, respect a lot of good game being brought past, man. Uh, we had a little goofy on there, Kevin Smith, man. Man, you wrong, man, bro. Who you talking about, the conscious brother? Oh yeah, 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 man. You know, I think what happens is with the, I think what happens with that is people just be on YouTube. They see me live and they just jump in the room and they just, you know, I don't know who the fuck that was or what that was going on. No idea. Man, he hey, where you, where you, where you calling from, fam? Man, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, bro. Man, let me take. Man, I used to come down there for the Circle City Classic and make so much motherfucking money, man. God damn, man. Hey, I remember good game, JoJo, all out cross-country camping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, I'm here in the background just chilling, you feel me? Hey, Indianap I'm, Indianapolis. I'm, I'm a major supporter of you, boss, man, you feel me? I, tro I sure appreciate it, man. Indianapolis is one of them uh, uh, one of them towns a lot of people sleep on, man. That motherfucker live, Jack. Yeah, believe that. Believe, believe. I can, I, I can attest to that. Matter of fact, I was down there for the uh, one that the, uh, the Super Bowl was down there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was down there for that yeah. shit. Yeah, that yeah, shit was yeah, love, man. Yeah. Uh, I see the girl can caramel candy talking about she fixing to call in. She keeps saying she calling in. I don't ever see her calling in. They on your like that. Hey, they. Man, I show. You know what I mean? This younger generation, no man. You know what I mean? It's cool, but don't ever. You know what I mean? You can't really walk down that line. Don't try to imitate it, man. It's for real players, I hear. You know what I mean? I sure appreciate it, player. You got you got all the you got all the DVDs, pimp. Uh, I got a uh, cross country one through three. I ain't got all of them, boss. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Uh, I got, like, oh man, you gotta go. One through three. I got a uh, uh, damn. That's what's up. Yeah. And then you fuck with my dude Cheddar too, man. I, uh, I did a little something with Cheddar, you know what I mean? I'm about to come back out, you know what I mean? You talking about Cheddar? You talking about Cheddar DVD? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I fuck, I fuck with Cheddar. Yeah, I fucks with Cheddar. I fucks with Albie. Yeah, yeah, Albie, real. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. Albie, Montgomery, and Leroy, man. I, y'all ain't messing with these two, man. I got documentaries. Y'all slipping, man. These are two real individuals, man. It's showing good games. Where, man, where, where, what's up with Cheddar? Hey, what's up, what's up with Cheddar? Where you at now, man? I ain't seen him in a minute. Uh, I ain't hollering him in about a year, man, because we're supposed to get ready for the Dr. Mary, but uh, I ain't gonna get shot up. I, you know, I ain't gonna yeah, man, you got to be careful out there, man. I sure hate to hear that, brother. I'm glad you, I'm glad it, it wasn't your time to go, man. God ain't let you check out, you dig? Hey, man, I appreciate that, boss. Man, I got hit 14 times, man. Yeah, damn. 
You got shot 14 times? 14 times, bro. They paralyzed me. I'm in a wheelchair now, you know what I mean? But it's all good. You know, I'm still here for my kids. God damn, them good. niggas wanted you. You must be, man, hey, you must be a ruthless motherfucker for a nigga to shoot you 14 times, man. They wanted you gone, bro. Man, you know, I just try to follow footsteps of my Uncle Larry Hoover, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my word, bud. I don't be out here, you know what I mean? I ain't know nobody. I don't care if you a blood. And crib, and folks, and the Lord, and peace, or whatever you recognize, do it correctly. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I do, bro. I just try to stay out the way. You know These are my Gucci joints. No, I'm talking. Don't. It's always going to be that one nigga in your crew that handle you so much because you take it so good care of him. But it's a real man, he can't stand on his own. So he try to come and take the head of him. Oh, I forgot, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. I understand, man. It's because you see a nigga doing better than you. You don't know. You don't know that man struggle. Salute that man. Don't hate. We all gotta be Indians, right? It's funny. I don't nobody wanna be Indians, man. They all wanna be the chiefs. We can't nobody really be handle the position of a chief if you don't really know the corporate way of being the Indian. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just go, ah, this nigga, no, I'm going to go whack him out. Yeah, when you get out, who's going who's gonna to flood you with this shit? Because you knock the plug out. Everybody knows. So nobody's going to fuck with you. So, man, what you going to do? Rob everybody. Yeah, man. You know, you got to understand. You know, that's just like when you put a hole in the ass. Okay, so my son that ass, like you said, when you start to stop that bitch, put her head on the dog. Man, this nigga talking about putting bitches' heads through walls and stomping on them. God damn, man, you on Gorilla Pimp one on one. Hey, 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 hold up, hey, hold up, hold up, P man, my other line ringing. Hold on a second. Matter of fact, let me hit you right back. Hello? 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 Yes. Together, this is Domino's Pizza. This ain't no Domino's Pizza. This is good. What's good? Who is this? This is Caramel. Well, my name's Gamora, but my handle's Caramel Candy. I was calling in so just to make sure to let you know I wasn't no nigga on your line. This ain't Kiko. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> man, God damn, we got a lot. Man, you about the fourth motherfucker call in talking about Kiko. He got a lot of fans over here or some shit, man. What the fuck going on, man? I don't know nothing about him. I don't know the nigga. I just wanted to let you know that I, I wasn't no imposter. Ain't nothing fraudulent about me just because I wasn't calling in and all this carrying on. I heard the fuck. Them past FYI was not for me. I don't, yeah, if it was for me, it should have been some dollar signs. It wasn't that. I don't do no flowers and all that shit. I heard the fuck out of that. I heard the fuck out of that. Where you calling from, baby girl? I'm in Texas. Oh, yeah? What part? Now you want me to give up my locale. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I, look. I, 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 hey, look, look, look. I'm just, I'm just small talking, but you absolutely right. You ain't got to give it up. I fuck with Texas real tough, especially Dallas. Dallas is like a second home to me. I love Dallas. Yeah, but you know it's all good. But what's going on? What's what's going on? Give me some news we can use, man. You the, you the first lady we had on the line today, so give us some information. We some news we can use, man. Shit, I ain't got nothing. To, I ain't got nothing to say. I hope everybody peace. Say you say. That's all I can tell. Yeah, what you think about the case with the Robert Bim Pimpsey Banks? I don't know. I'm not gonna speak on it because I'm Kim, and I don't know the real situation of it. Saying is, I mean. Hey, I, I don't condone or uphold no, 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 no type of man or ism or whatever you want to call yourself uh, pimping on no little girl. You know, I have a daughter, so that shit don't, you know, that, that don't fly with me. So I'm not going to speak on that because I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. I can respect that. I wish him well. I pray for him. All I can do. I, I respect that. How long you been in the game, baby girl? 
Okay. Let me ask you a question. Since you've been in the game, have you came across any young ladies in the game that was not of age? Not at all. I'm not going contrib- to contribute to no delinquents. They have no mind. I heard that. If a hoagie caught with a, a, a young child, she got the answer for it. So, no, I don't know. I heard the fuck out of that. I heard that. I just, I just think, I just think it's, it's crazy how they always coming up with these statistics about how many minors are on the street. So when they do these sweeps, how many minors they come up and grab? Yet don't nobody ever know or see none of these minors. Right. I mean, I have never, and you know what? If I did, I would try to get the little bit of help. You know, I don't do the runaways. I'm not contributing. I'm not catching no charge. I have nobody child. But it is. You're right. You know, I, I look at the news and. It'd be all on MSNBC, you know, how many, uh... Yeah, they talking about, yeah, we didn't rescue... Yeah, we... How many, uh, children under the age of 13, that, that, it, it amazes me. Who would pick on, you know, who, who? This sex slavery shit, you know, I don't, I don't understand that at all. When you got all these grown-ass, misguided-ass women, you know, that need, need to be, you could be pivoting on this stuff again. Trying to get out a child, I believe it lies with a man. You know, trying to have mental control over a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I guess they know they can't really mind control a grown woman, so they go for a child. You know, that manipulation shit. You know, I don't know. It ain't cool though at all. I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you. Definitely agree yeah. with you. I'm glad you called in, Candy Caramel. Okay, and I just want to, you know, congratulate you. I mean, I'm, I'm subscribed to you, so every time you do get on here, this is my first time really participating and watching and getting in the chats or whatever, but it always comes to my phone notifying me when you done see the video or you're live or something. But this is my first time, and congratulations. Uh, I appreciate it, babe. Please log on to the website and go grab my movies. Go get a download. Go buy a T-shirt. Put a T-shirt on your sexy ass. All right, I do that. I do that. Whenever I can see, whenever I see one, I'll snatch it. All right, baby. All right, be easy on the right, okay? You too. Be cool and careful. I bet your shop now. What? Bless truly. You bet my shop now. I'm glad I stayed on here. Oh, yeah. She ain't going to tell us all that. Candy caramel. Sound good to me. Sound good to me. Sound like a nice southern bell. Shouts out to the G up in Indiana. My man, Zach Williams. I mean, Zach Robinson. And I appreciate y'all. Listen, man, I just came on here to do a QA, and a Talk to y'all. My thing, my plan was to do this, start doing this every Tuesday. You know, I was going to call it Too Real for TV Tuesdays. Then I decided I was going to do the podcast. And I'd be busy, man. You know what I mean? Just tonight, I was just in a good mood, good spirit. Wanted to jump on. I hate that I jumped on because I'm going to look at this video and hate it because my beard ain't right. But I did it. I'm glad I was able to connect with some of y'all. And I'm glad. Many of y'all was able to swap game with each other. Y'all like my shades? These are my signature joints, them Gucci joints, upside down, limited edition. Hello? What's happening? What's going down, man? It's your partner, man. Who this? It's nasty, man. Nasty. What's up, my nigga? Man, must be the late because I'm up here talking and I guess it, uh, it ain't going through. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold. Shit, well, somebody else was calling. It's all good. Nasty, go ahead. Give me some news you could use. It is late. It's 11.42 over here. Okay, is a delay on the video? Because we're watching the video still. Oh, you just talking about it's delayed. Oh, yeah, you're going to get a delayed thing over there, man. You got to put it on mute, or otherwise it's going to distort. But it's going to be on there for you to see it, though. Dig that. Hold on. Hey, hold on. So I can talk to my partner. Look here, man. I just want to put a little bit out there. Man, 
man, you might be my boy. I've been getting ass rights for you for years, man. And it's the first time I had a chance to put it out in the air about it, that you were a man. You know what I'm saying? You all over the country doing your thing, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I have finally had a chance. But I'm over here in Virginia, man. Right. We ain't got no tracks over here. We ain't got no blades. We ain't got nothing. I always want to put it out here to these cats, man. You doing your thing, and I give you niggas props. But, bro, come over here on this side, bro. The Virginia, bro, we ain't, ain't, it ain't like no, no, ain't no carpets, ain't no casino, ain't none of that, bro. We got to get it out of the mud over here, bro. If you're going to really mash, you're going to have to do some old school grass on the mash it. On the phone. I'm, li- I'm listening to you loud and clear, bro. I'm trying to get you even louder. Oh, you know, you're like, oh, man, I'm doing it. Yeah, man, okay, look. Y'all over there. You know what I'm saying? The 304 know what time it is when you ain't Cali, when you in Texas, when you in Texas, all that. They know what time it is. You get in your beach, the lawyer town. Man, don't get involved. Look, bro, it ain't all like that over here. Hey nasty, didn't you catch a case over there or some shit with the ism? Yes, sir, I did. You feel me? The very first one, like in Virginia, man. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was talking all that woo woo woo. You can Google my shit. I only want to put my shit out there. Like, let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me yeah. be quiet. You know what I'm saying? But I did right here, man. Right here <laughs> in this state of VA, man. They ain't gonna be playing, man. I let what I let good guy in your DC. We talking about. He said you. He said you in Virginia. I said yeah. I get in there. I told him don't come. Man, I'm just trying to tell you, okay, this a whole bit of a ball game. It ain't like New York. We ain't got no New York. It ain't like down in Miami, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to tell you, okay, if you, you're pushing over here, that's why cats don't stay here. They'll come through the town and they keep it moving. Deep 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 in this town. Hold up one second, Nasty. I'm finna try something different with you, bro. Hold on, because I want to make sure they hear you loud and clear, man. This is experiment shit myself. Yo. It ain't working, man. What the fuck? Fuck it. Yeah, hello? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, man. I was trying to hook you up to this speaker and shit, but, man, my, I'm over here ghetto rigging shit, man. It's all good. Oh, that's all right. You know what you're doing, though. You feel me? You know what you're doing? Yeah. You know, that's your expertise right now. But, yeah, man, I had to walk outside because my, my co-worker in that week, boy. They got me laughing and everything. So you know, I have to step outside. Oh yeah, you you got you got some female coworkers over there looking at me. Yeah, they looking at you, man, on the big screen or whatever, right? They checking you out, man. They checking out the shades, everything. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, man. I told him, I told him, all right, now calm down. Just carry me a can. I'm glad you tuned in. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna message you and all that. But yeah, man. Oh yeah, I just want to tell young boy too, man. Stay out there, get in there, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a phone call coming in from 619. Let me let me let me grab this. Wait a second. Okay, Hello? Hello? Yeah. How you doing? Don't be scared. You called in, huh? She hung up. She was spooked. Hello? Yeah, that was some chick called in. She hung up on me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man, I just want to put another thing out there. Hold on, hold on. She called, she called, she called it back, Nasty. Hold on, man. Your mouth like a Uzi, nigga. Get, 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 get them first, yeah. Hello? 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 Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, man, I'm here, man. Yeah, I'm just calling in to say, can we get back to Vincent? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank Okay, 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 listen, uh, since you're on the phone and I see you calling from 619 zip code, why don't you tell me about what you got to talk about about Pimp C? That's a great man. Did, did, that's a great man. Did you know him personally? Indeed, I did. Okay, so what do you think, what do you think about his case and the situation he got going on? Mm, I can't really say too much, but um, it's, it's, it's not all... Uh, 
But, you know, people, you know, everybody has your faults. You know, you should you know, who you should be around and who you shouldn't have been around and stuff like that. But that's a great man. Okay. A great, great, great man. Yeah. Man. But if Pim ain't fucking with no kids. I don't think he was messing with a kid either. I really don't. Yeah. But if yeah. if if they charging him with providing transportation for a prostitute and he's admitting to providing transportation for a prostitute. He's smart. He knows what, what he did, what he did and what to say, what not to say. And, you know, where he was wrong, where he wasn't wrong. But, you know, I just want everybody to keep him in their prayers. And that's a good man right there. Man, it's a beautiful thing when people call in and they really supportive of him like that because you sound like you're really sincere and that you care yeah, about the man. Yeah, I am. He's supportive of him. I know him. Yeah, I know him. I know him. I know him. That's a good man. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Are y'all sending that man some letters while he's locked up? Oh, indeed, indeed. For sure. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to send letters while he's locked up. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm sorry if we got off subject, but it seemed like we was we was talking about Pimpsey for a while, then they kind of got off subject. So I'm sorry if you feel like we got off subject. Hey man, no, it's 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 y'all it's y'all show, man. Too real for TV belongs to the people. I'm just rolling with y'all, man. I'm just working for y'all. That's all. And the people want to get back to Pimpsey. Okay, baby. And the people want Pimpsey to come back to us. Man, we really do want them to come on. We that that we do. What's your name, cutie? My name? You don't want to get uh, you ain't gotta give it up. You ain't you ain't gotta give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we can't. We, we can't do that. <laughs> but bless truly. Oh, okay, that's you right there. Bless truly, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I fuck with San Diego. I love San Diego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might, I might be down there on the twenty eighth, actually. Okay. Or I might come down for thanks Thanksgiving and hang out with some of my partners. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's been to see you. Yeah, man. Let's get back to Jack Frost. Let's get back to Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Yeah, you've been knowing him for a while. Oh, Caesar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Caesar. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Caesar. No, Caesar. Indeed. And he's Caesar and he knows. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Who to see and not to see. Believe that. Yeah, he definitely know better, man. But you know, them gov the government, they so fucked up, even though he he's saying that wasn't his, even though the chick belonged to another dude, even though the chick say they wasn't fucking with him. The government, some dirty motherfuckers, they still found him guilty. Yeah, and he was and he was doing it as big as Yeah, he he got a good heart. Ain't no doubt about it. Myself. Ain't no doubt about it. Myself. That's it. Gotta go. All right, cutie. All right, All right as y'all can see, I was just uh interrupted and strongly checked. <laughs> <laughs> by a young lady who demands I get back on the topic of Pimpsey. Hey, man, I don't know what else more I can say. I gave y'all the phone because the phone call I got from him, I gave it to y'all on YouTube. I put it on YouTube. Upload. I did some editing with the um the graphics. But as far as the phone call go, that's the, that's the full raw phone call. The phone calls are 15 minutes each. We did uh, three phone calls. The first one, when he first called me and I woke up, like, oh, shit. Then he called back. I had to get ready and record this shit. You know, I don't sit around and just record phone calls after everybody calling me. So I had to go record this shit. So I gave y'all the two calls exactly how they came to me. So everything he said to me, y'all heard it, including me asking him about cross-country pimping, because I know that would come up as if the movie – is a problem or something like that. But even he said, 
he don't feel any regret about being on the film or whatever the case may be because he knows that, and it's going to show in his paperwork, that movie ain't the reason he's getting, he got convicted, you know, because in the movies, man, what you got to understand, if you in a movie, what you do in a movie, if that's not illegal, it's okay. It's not illegal to be at a player's ball. Niggas come in, you know, man, listen, when you go to a player's ball, man, there's probably a handful of pimps, literally. The player's ball going to be packed. It's going to be hundreds and hundreds of people there. But it's going to be a handful of real pimps. The rest of the people there are people with jobs, squares. I know a dude from Cleveland that's a goddamn that works a regular job. He's like a mechanic or something. Man, that nigga come to the ball, gator zone, full-length fur coat, sharp as shit, got his wife with him. She's sharp as shit, full-length fur. A player's ball is just not only, it's it's a celebration. It's a fashion show. Everybody's welcome. If you anybody that's in the fashion, you end up being fresh, you will enjoy this. It's a street thing. They're not giving out Oscars and Grammys to street niggas. But at the player's ball, you can come get recognized for whatever you may do. Shit, I even got trophies. I got about, I got some trophies from um, some award from film festivals like the Golden Ace Award right there. And a couple and a couple more over there. But shit, as far as the player's ball, I got about nine trophies from over there. And each one of them felt good. It felt good just to be recognized. Right, porn stars ain't number three oh fours. You absolutely right. You absolutely right. Porn stars, man. You ever been to the AVN? I was at the AVN. Actually, I was at the AVN and I won. Okay, let me stop and learn. I didn't win. What happened was my partner won, and I just went up on stage with him when he won. But they won for the best black flick for uh Mr. Johnson Pimp for uh what was it called? Pimp Formation Triple X. By Onyx Films, my man Gabor did the film. But I went on stage. And that was an exhilarating feeling. Just for them to call it and they wanted me to come up on stage with it. Oh, good, man. It feels good to win. We all want to be winners, right? That's what Pimpsey was. Pimpsey was a winner. MVP, man. Most valuable player, man. In a couple states. But most importantly, where it mattered most, Chicago. You ain't got to believe what I say. Check the resume. I see we got another connection out here. Bless truly. And Robert Johnson. Uh, all on El Cajon, huh? I see you, player. Oh, you went to the ball last year? What was you at? California? Which one you go to? Oh, what you love? What you love? <laughs> man, I'm trying to be on business, man. Yo, man, listen. Hey, man, I've enjoyed myself with you guys this evening. I wish I had a drink, man. No. This would have been super live. Lord. You dig? But, oh, in Vegas. Got a player's ball in Vegas last year? I don't remember that. It was in LA, actually. I don't know. Maybe she. Oh, she probably. Oh, she's talking about the AVN. She's talking about the porno shit. That's what she's talking about. Yeah, they in Vegas every year. Yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Hey, man, listen, man. Once again, I want y'all to send some letters to Pimpsey, man. Send some prayers in. Uh, if y'all watch the video, I sent the address on where you can email character letters for Play Doh. I don't know what they're going to do. Hey, man, you know what? Listen, man, for a second, man. Everybody talking about Pimpsey, man. We kind of forgetting about Lil Play Doh. The little Plato have a little chick. Yeah, he did. But listen, that's just like this guy here in Vegas. His name is Ray Finesse. Ray Finesse is 17 years old. He just got caught with three chicks. One was 17, 16, and 15. Basically his classmates. And he had two of his partners. Maybe 21 and 22. Ray Finesse was getting it in. In Vegas. Uh, one of the chicks got in trouble. One of the chicks 
they, what the chicks used to do was tell their moms they was going out to spend the night at their friend house. Well, one of the mothers found their cell phone while she was in the bathroom wearing the shower, went through her cell phone, went through all her text messages. She saw it was something real suspicious going on in there. She contacted the police. It was over with. They got Ray Finesse. They're trying to charge him as an adult. If they charge Ray Finesse as an adult, which they're not supposed to, the only reason you're supposed to charge a juvenile as an adult is if it is an extremely violent crime. This was a pimp charge. They're trying to say this is the most heinous crime, which is some bullshit. It wasn't. These girls was down too. They need to quit trying to make excuses like these girls went down. They 17, he's 17. But they finna charge him as an adult. If they charge him as an adult and he gets convicted, Ray Finesse looking at life. No doubt about it. 30, 40 years, some shit like that. They got a new law in, in, in California called Proposition 35, which increases anything you get locked up for. So if you get caught with an underage girl in California, you're going to get time like they gave Pimp and Bird 40 years. I also did a story on this is on YouTube. But back to what I was saying about young Plato. I think we're forgetting about Plato. You know what I mean? Here, young cat out there fucking around. Now, young Plato ain't never been on none of my movies. So I guess y'all can't blame me for that one. But I like Plato. I met him. I met him a couple times. Cool dude. But uh, I think it's fucked up, man, because he got found guilty with the young girl. And Pimpsy saying that was his friend, his girlfriend. Man, it ain't it ain't looking good. It's not looking good. David Ruffin, my nigga. David Ruffin say, pull up, Maroy. Man, for real. I need to send somebody to the schizo. Mm -hmm. Hey man. How so? What is how so? Is he talking to me? Are y'all talking to each other? Well, listen, man, y'all gonna have to get to each other's Instagrams. Each other's Facebooks and shit. Cause I'm about to I'm about to log out. I got other shit to do. I saw somebody commented that on there. They were like, oh, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, for real. <laughs> hey, and all y'all join my Instagram, man. Too real for TV by more. I really don't even be on Instagram that much. If y'all really want to interact with me, man, fuck with me on Facebook. That's where my money at. Facebook.com slash too real for TV or Facebook.com slash Michael Maroy. You know, tune in. But most importantly, 2 real for tvcom Log on for a daily dose of news you could use. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash 2 real for tv Shad Money, keep the live streams up. All right, man, let's tune in tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. Tuesday night, we'll do a 2 real for tv Tuesdays at uh, what time? It's a good time, brother. Tomorrow? Seven. What sounds slick? What time? What y'all got going on tomorrow? Give me a time. What's my Facebook? My Facebook is Two River TV. Facebook.com slash everything is Two River TV. Man, y'all niggas can even hit me on MySpace, goddammit. MySpace is <laughs> Two River TV. You stream. If y'all need some individual consultation, hit me up on uh, Skype, Two River TV. But my Facebook, too, oh, Twitter is definitely Too Real for TV, T-O-O. -O. Instagram is the only one that ain't Too Real. Instagram is Too Real for TV by Maroy, T-O-O-R-E-A-L-F-O-R-T-V. I like Instagram. Ain't talk enough. I do have more people on there, but, ain't nothing but a, Instagram is for girls, man. Yeah, I know. You just liking pics. That's cool. I mean, it's... hey man, y'all tune in. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to two. I'm going to jam two pot. Pour out a little liquor for all the homies. Real shit, man. Hey man, listen, man. This is what I want to tell all y'all, man. No matter what your situation is, now I don't care if you got two dollars in your pocket or you got two million in the bank. Be grateful that you're free right now. Be grateful that you're not waiting on these white folks some white judge to come back and sentence you to some time 
that you have no idea. You know, just imagine that right now, Pimp C laid up. He has no clue what they're going to do to him on the 28th. He don't know if they're going to give him time served, let you get out, or, 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 or cancel Christmas. You don't know. And that's fucked up. So be grateful for that alone. Everything ain't the way I want it to be with me. Even my beard is fucked up right now. But I'm free, man. I got another shot. And I'm healthy. So y'all be cool. Y'all be cool and careful. I love y'all. Peace.